Which is much entry, sorry for the hold up. Let's get back into it. Do some more stuff in the DLC. Hmm. Back here at Graveside Plain and Wait, I didn't even think about it. I do have enough for a level. Should definitely actually use that. If we end up losing it. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Okay. So intelligence or arcane, you know. Arcane. Uh nah. Go for the intelligence. There we go. We actually only need ten or so more levels before I can just <clears throat> get thirty eight and start using Blessing of the Earth Tree without needing a rune arc. So we're chilling. More or less. Main thing is what did I mark here? This was Is this a painting? Or I don't even know at this point. Well there's Hovel. I imagine that was probably another painting? Whatever. No, no, Artist Shack over there, and... No, really, what did I mark here? Behind the Fort of Reprimand. Oh, did this automatically activate a grace? Hey. That's funny. Or did... Wait. Did I just do that so I could get back? I don't even know. Hmm. Either way, I wonder why I marked that with an icon. Whatever. I could always go back and look, but... Oh, I would imagine it's because of... Just because of the Spirit Spring. Yeah. We already got that. But we do not want to really do stuff in Shadow Altus right now. Don't want to accidentally brick my game. Not brick my game, but accidentally break a bunch of quest lines. So let's go up top here and see where this leads us. Hello, hello. Go a bit north from here. We should be able to find some stuff. That will be nice. Hello, hello. I just want to see. Not if I miss. Poor turtle. Hmm. I am just right. Oh my goodness. And now I feel real bad. Okay. But the aim on that is not perfect. I went a bit over the turtle. Either way. Next place to go is going to be up here. That said, I'm not sure how far this will actually let me go. Whether this is actual path onward or not. It's more eels. So let's put our starlight back on. Keep on moving and see where this takes me. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, hello? this? What is that? Oh, it's a demi-human. Oh, demi-human swordmaster. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That's nasty. Hmm, maybe I could try to buff up a little. Uh, 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 never mind. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just let you kill me. And then I'll attack you a bit more directly. Yeah, I can I can just die freely now. It's so freeing to not have to worry about rune arcs. Okay. Hmm. Can we put this back on? Yeah. Backhand's light enough that we can put on full bull goat, no problem. Heaviest armor set in the game. And it's still not doing all that much. Classic, classic. So, let's get this back and buff up before Demi Human Guy shows up and beware of sword fighter, therefore try stealth, master ahead, so to speak, visions of fortitude. I guess we could put the light on anyway. So, Blood Flame Blade combined with all sorts of things. 
Barrier gold honestly might work better. Does resist magic. Then Grails. Hello. Roar. Nice. I oh, okay. Hmm. Some of this back in Oh my goodness. Okay, barrier gold is a good option there. We can just come more you down more or less. Or kinda. I like that you have a grab attack is insane. I, okay. Oh my oh wow. Okay. Whoa! This demi human sword masters really get you. Okay. Maybe I need Use my flask on that too. Physic flask. And that I hope it drops something good. They might end up dropping their sword, I don't know. Maybe from a demi-human queen, I think. All I know is that you can get their sword eventually. There was another demi-human swordmaster I fought in the Belly Rat jail, but they only dropped spirit ashes. So only does so much. Come on. Sings Boon. Golden Vow. There are gold. Blood Flame Blade. Prep the roar for after we get a critical. Sneak up, backstab. Nice! Good damage. Okay, and immediately just prep the roar. Nice. Okay, cool. Fun. Now we got a good amount of stuff prepped. One, two. Ooh, okay. Nice. So they basically have deflect your attack capabilities, and that's death to you. Okay, they just dropped Starlight Shards. Alright. Smithing Stone. Got a bunch of eels to take out then. That's fine. Hmm. Does raise the question. Uh, it's actually in this spot. It's clearing and where will it take me? Maybe to Raw? I'm not sure though. There are a bunch of demi humans around here for some reason. Okay. Oh well. What are you doing? Well, slash, slash again. So other than the sword master, they really are no issue, but tough to get at. Alright. And the jumping heavy takes them out without any real issue. Okay, well, if they explode, we can just let them, I suppose. Hmm. Put on the boon. Thank you. Get close. Close enough until they explode, and there we are. Once the white flash comes. Hmm, that's the point of no return for them. Hmm. It is definitely convenient to be able to make them blow up themselves. Blow themselves up, I mean. Guess, is that magic or physical? I wonder what damage type that is. Hmm. There isn't really a tell. As much as a time you have to wait. Okay. There we are. So going over this way... I really do wonder what the terminus of this little area is going to be like. There seems to be some kind of cave, and I wonder if that's a dungeon or what. Okay. Luckily, demi-humans are easy enough to take down. So, we'll take them down. They're all just standing up. Dodge. Oh, well. We were too close, I suppose. Hmm. Come on. Dodge. I, okay. We need to get out of the way physically. Hmm. Really, what is in that game? Thanks. It's got a lingering hitbox. So you need to be able to actually physically get out of the way. Okay. I see a demi-human chief in here. 
There would be no downside to buffing up a bit more intensely then. Thank you. Blood Flame. And all reliable. Oh there. Thanks. I oh well, alright. Thank you. Dodge. Okay. Can I slash? Actually you're quite weak anyway. They were weak in the overall, but I expected a bit more. Ah, uh, Shadow Tree Fragment. That's nice. Hmm. In that case, we will simply continue hopping around. Honestly, that's nicer than a dungeon would have been. Woohoo! See some lightning wisps. This is not whooping around. But there's a coffin over here. I imagine that that's connected to the area, given how the stone coffins work in general. Hi. Dodge, 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 dodge. Six is the magic number. Let's just deplete these guys and have at it. Hello. Oh dodge, 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 dodge. So there's a bit of weeding their shots, it seems. I don't think it's randomness. But they don't exactly aim for your exact position every time. Definitely did seem to be weeding their shots a bit to try to hit me better. Maybe. Coffin is over there. For that, let's take out the rest of these eels. Hello. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, goodness. Let's... Do some gradual health regen. Thanks. Cool. Cut, cut, cut. Stuff. I actually drop an okay amount of runes. This one looked a bit different in terms of demeanor, but... I don't think that's really anything. Precise. Okay. Oh, more demi humans. Hello. Bunch hopping. I. Luckily, they're easy to get stuck, but still. Come on. Ooh, okay. Come on. Luckily, two does it. Hmm. Okay. I need to get a bit closer. I feel like their AI might be a bit better. Maybe I'm just more foolery than I was before. Oops. Okay. Well, let's get a bit more light up in here. What are those triples are up to? Dodge. Thank you. For a bit more of this. Yeah, once they stop expanding, this one's good to roll away. Okay. Oh, well. Or not. Oops. Message of praise. That's always a good feeling. I wonder if Black Flame's protection would reduce the amount of healing you get from Message Appraisal, too. Aw. You know, let's try Blood Fiends again just to kill the turtles for reasons of profound cruelty. There we are. Now, the Bleed proc definitely helps a bit. But again, Blood Fiend's arm is nowhere near as good as it was pre-nerf. Oh well. So we can go to that stone coffin. And then... Well... Nothing really around here. Hmm. Stone coffin. Put our blades back on so we're no longer at heavy load. And stake America around here. That is interesting. Oh, that looks to be a demi-human queen. Oh, hello. So does that mean Star One Sword is going to be here? Or... Makes sense, given that there have been a bunch of demi-humans in the area. Alright. Let's buff up a bit. They're approaching me already from relatively far away, so... Oh, come on. Oh, goodness. Oh, please. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. 
slash, slash, slash. Easy enough to keep still. Okay. Well, I suppose we could eliminate as much of the trash before we actually get to fighting. I wonder when that demi-human queen is going to aggro. More trash will eliminate before the actual fight happens. The easier it should be. I wonder if I can even get on top of that stone coffin. But it does raise the question of what the demi-humans are even doing here in the first place. How they wound up in the land of shadow. This is where things end, so it's not fall off like I did in the finger ruins. But yeah, that stone coffin is interesting. Yeah, that's doubtlessly a demi human queen. I have a couple more guys to take out. Definitely want bearer of gold for the fight. Oh well. Given that sure. Biggest threats are the magic attacks. Starlight. Thank you. Then anything else around here? I guess this was just a little detour ending in that demi human queen. Makes sense. Oh well. Enjoy getting cut up. Mm -hmm. It is nice that they give you so many. Oh, so many ancient dragon smithing stones in the DLC. Given that if you're using any weapon other than just fully upgraded, you're in for a bad time here. Come on. Luckily, Demi Human Queen is. seems to be pretty unaware of my presence still. Other things aren't waking her up either. Hello? Oh, come on. This doesn't have the same reach that I might like. It's not horrible, but it's definitely nowhere near ideal. It The range aspect of a heavy weapon is definitely one of the understated parts of it. It said Bloodveen's arm is actually really, really short range for a colossal. Hmm. So Try not to fall off the edge. That was nearly very, very bad. So if you're over here, let's buff up again before things start for real. Golden bow. Bearer gold. Blood flame blade. Then it's Grails, or Bust. Oh well. Let's go behind you and for the big physical hit. Oh well. Demi Human Queen Mariga. Isn't she the one? Goddess from the Lands Between? Bad joke. Okay, I dodge. This will burst. I okay. Luckily, we can burst you down pretty capably. With that bleed up in there, and... Yeah, easy enough. Sorry. That should give me the Star One Sword. Think. Yep, there we go. That's the sword those demi-human swordmasters use. Oh, it owns this line of stars. Sword encrusted with a line of stars fashioned from small pieces of crude glintstone. Weapon of the demi-human swordsman. Somehow this is a katana. When bestowed with this weapon by the queen, swordsmen swear to find the truth that lies at the end of the procession of stars. Owns his line of stars, a skill named after a demi human swordmaster. That's the one we fought, too. Imbues sorceress energy into line glint stones and executes a slash attack. Repeated inputs allow for up to two fall off attacks, each doing greater damage than the last. Fun. Let me just check out some of these, actually. What's interesting is that even in one hand, you take out a second sword when you use the weapon art. Try that Starline sword real quick. Hmm. So.
So, keep pressing the skill button. Okay. So the first is those two, and then another. Ah, oh, the final one is the overhead. It's a fun combo. That's cool. Unfortunately, I don't really have much need of this. Rarely is magic damage ever going to be a great option. To be fair, probably just use the Claimant's Harpoon. I wanted to split magic damage weapon that could also be infused. It's interesting that there's no lightning option for weapons like that. So I bet we can get on top of the coffin ship. Go around here. Yeah. Use this as a way out. Alright, and then we can return and take another path. Should be a great glove warp. Okay. Okay. It is interesting that I have a bunch here. But again, it's not as if I have serious need. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I might actually upgrade from here on out. Probably dry leaf seal. And then dry leaf arts maybe. Probably. Though so again, dry leaf arts will be a good good way off. Went there, found that coffin ship, and then I suppose it's a matter of going the other way and seeing where this pocket takes me. Wonder where. It's cool to find her just standing around a bit. I feel like that there are a lot of sort of long dead end pathways with something at the end. Well, I guess you could argue that it does fit into a sort of dungeon like paradigm. But it's obviously a bit different than just an actual dungeon you find your way into. Okay. Got that gone. Got that demi human sword master. And some more eels. See where that takes me. Okay. Okay. Slash, slash. What else is around here? Those eels don't seem to be the exploding kind. Hmm. Got you. Got you. Thanks. Thank you. You're over here. We can keep on chopping. I like how dance-like these blades are. Not dance like in the same way as these, but. Strong attack. Oh, well, that's cool. It's actually a bit like. Painting Guardian Swords, I think? Maybe. Oh, hold on. You know what? How much damage is this gonna deal? Very little. Okay. Makes sense, because it was. It's completely unupgraded. It is interesting that those are paired curved swords instead of backhand blades, honestly. So what's at the end of what's at the end of this pathway? Dodge. Okay. Dodge. Okay, so there is a good amount of flexibility time wise in that. Hello. Any others around here, or is this just a dead end? Seems like this is just a dead end without a boss or anything. Okay, well. Wow. Definitely was not expecting that. Futility ahead. Okay, so I guess there's nothing here. Fair enough. Except maybe a shadow tree fragment? If I'm lucky. We'll see. This is... Oh, the Spirit Sword. Interesting. Where is anything else? Any other demi-humans in the area? Maybe not. Okay. So... This is everything I can do in Sterling Coast at the moment, then. Spirit Sword Ranker Slash. Sharp blade sculpted into a twisted shape, a sword that has seen many of years of use in the gravesite. 
Set to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. You can skill rank or slash. So when round, slashing foes while summoning vengeful spirits which chase down foes. Additional input was for a follow-up attack. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, and it's got... That Prince of Death icon, but... Half real wound of the centipede. Just see. Do I still have my key item mending runes? I do, and I can't use them for anything, but yeah. So when we attack, it shows half of that. Because the full curse mark is Death Prince's rune. Right. Dead Companion, yep, two Halogrand half wheels combined. Pooper rune. Hmm. Spell, right, Spirit Calling Bell. So in that case, I suppose, next place to go is back over here. The only way to reach, reach Charo's Hidden Grave is from here. Okay. I... wait. Is there something down here too, or... It's not the Hidden Grave. That drop down definitely would kill me. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to Charo's. Dragon's so big, it's on the map. Okay. So Dragon's Pit Terminus is where we want to go. Let's get a level. Thank you. That's going to go to Arcane. Cool. In that case, there are a number of things I need to put back. Things I don't really need in my inventory right now. Weapons that don't really work for me. Okay, Stone Thief's she Sword can stay so that I can show off its special interaction, but most of the rest of these gotta go. Maybe even quality great katana. I don't know. Club has to go, Bloodbeans Fork. Hmm. Perfume bottle. Definitely want to make that good, if at all possible. Should definitely switch out my current buff spell, though. Should back to Protection of the Urge V. And no spell. Urge tree prot. Just general use. Which also would make it good against any other Jagged Peak Drakes I might encounter, but Jagged Peak right now is not where I'm trying to go. Or at the very least, we'll be fringing off to the side to go to Charo's instead. So I only one Shadow Tree Fragment. Mm -mm. So then, gotta go off to the side to Charo's Hidden Grave. Which, route down is different. It's over that way. Hmm. Lots of lightning sheep. Here's some vaguely ominous pseudo music. Where am I headed? Let's keep on moving. Any items up here? Well, there's some like this. Oh, they got a natural archway. That's where I killed one of the drakes before. Bale, O Terror Incarnate, again I stand afore ye. That's Egon's sign, so... A way of basically telling us that Egon's gonna be here, I suppose. Which I already knew, but... It's nice to get confirmation, I suppose. Hello! It's the funny Dragon Mountain. But, we're actually taking a detour and going this way, down to this region. Charo's Hidden Grave. Yeah, yeah. This is where I killed that 
Drake with a funny anti-dragon katana before. So we're moving around. Let's see where things take us. I think there should be another deathrite bird that I can meet and fight today. It's cool how they got those woods down there. It's just a matter of figuring out how we'll actually get to it. So, how are you doing? Tired, I presume? As normal. Okay, so no enemies in here. It's where that one Jagged Peak Drake was, but again, that would be the way to real Jagged Peak, but this is not our goal right now. We're going the other way. What kind of pasta is it? My mom always says about herself that, quote-unquote, her eyes are bigger than her stomach. It helps that she's just very small in general. So there's lava here for some reason. This is at least a little volcanic in there. Those are the finger ruins from before. Oh, red fulgur bloom. Flower that crackles with red lightning. Found at the dragon peak on the south coast. Set a bloom where the red lightning of the ancient dragon strikes the earth. Yeah. I suppose so. Let's get this back. Dramatic stomach. I have not heard, not heard that one before. Fair. Hmm. Can we get up there? And if so, is there anything to see? Don't imagine there'd be anything of real note. Well. Mm -mm. Well, you are Italian, and not a fake one. It's a giant dragon over here. Again, it's so big it's actually a map feature. The OG Italian or the Italians as a group are just the original drama queens. Both. Let's try out Dragon Moon Slash on you. Oh, nice. Good option. It's just a good weapon in general. Well, there you go. There's my answer, I suppose. Hello there. Funny sheep. Slash. Slash. So nice. That's how you know it's really bad. Except... As in for sickness? What do you think you have right now? general malaise. Okay. Another broken rune. Let's see. Where is... next spot to go to? Because it's still got jagged peak music right now. Hmm. I wonder if I could go on that upper level because I thought I saw a ledge, but again, not one I could really get up on, probably. Hmm. Anything here? Anything here? This seems to be an upper pathway. Oh, right, the sharp teeth. It's unpleasant. Sacred black steel great hammer and a sacred dagger, but more of these funky looking skeletons. Okay. Oh, well. now these are those Farum Zoa Beastman skeletons that were actually in the dragon dragon's pit too. Human bone shard. Not even sure they're human. The beast skeletons. You would like them. You would. Wait. So on this upper level. It's different or yeah number one is the bone wheels right it's always the bone wheels blessings bone sure why not try out sacred order too then my goodness it's impossible with you people I 
the Pokemon Duskull. That's not really a skeleton, just a skull, but... Hmm. So what am I gonna get if I go on all these side pathways? Is it the Lego minifigure skeleton? That's a good one, too. That's fair. It does have skull in the name. But yeah, it's not a skeleton. So where, oh where, am I meant to go? Here's something rumbling. But I don't imagine. Dragon's too big. Can I go out on its wing? I bet I could go out on its wing. Underneath over there is... Right, that part of the finger runes, I think. Well, it... Lego, Lego is very expensive. Dry bones from Mario. The Koopa skeleton. Oh, okay. There we go. What is funny is... In the Paper Mario games... They have a special version. They have... They have the dull bones, which are basically dry bones, but even weaker. They, they don't have the ability to regenerate. It's funny that they exist. Okay, Sacred Order is gone, sadly, but had it out long enough to one-tap the big skeleton. Stacking the anti-undead buffs is a dirty, dirty tactic. But if it works, it works. I think the final Ghost Sling Dragon is going to be in Shadow Altus. Not quite sure. There are three in total. And I've killed two. To the extent that destroying something undead can be described as killing. I... I haven't put much thought into that. It might be kind of similar to yours, honestly. Okay... Kill the giant sheep. Come on. The Stolfos? Stolfos aren't always big. In the original, they were the same size as Link, but that's because almost every every enemy was the same size. Okay, let's get the starlight back. I wonder what's up there. Went this way for a while, so. Thank you. Hmm. It is also crazy to think, in just a few short days, New Zelda. I'm excited for it. Let's see. I... It depends. I, I'm gonna go out of my way here and say that it depends. It depends on how big the bone is. Because there's a big comedy factor when the bones that the skeleton is throwing are bigger than any bone in the skeleton's actual body. And it can be easier to do that when it's a small skeleton without being unreasonably big. That's what I'll say. Hmm. Either way, once we get through Jagged Peak... The only place to really go would be... Castle Ensis, and then, presumably... Uh, Shadow Altus after that. Main thing with that is... There's also a small possibility I might be able to get into the ruins from here. I don't think so, unless I miss something significant. Yeah, it never ends. It's a shame. So... Yeah, it... I, I need to work on that. I need to change that. But, as always, old habits die hard. This is a Shadow Tree Fragment. 
No, it's Egon's cookbook. A record of crafting techniques left by a warrior who challenged the vile dragon Bale, only to be grievously injured and broken by fear. It contains details on how a mere mortal can fell a mighty dragon. Dragon Commune in Greece and Dragon Commune in Harpoon. Let's see. Sumables. Dragon Commune in Greece, and that needs a sharp gravel stone. Yeah. Sharp gravel stone mixture versus gravel stone mixture. Grease versus not grease. And a potent anti-dragon effect versus just an anti-dragon effect. You can see, it's also got... You can see the stones making out the dragon community insignia in the middle, too. A tool of the old dragon community warriors, who are the agents of the ancient dragon's hatred for their low-born descendants. So make the dragon community and harpoon, unfortunately, the socks. Hmm. No arcane scaling. Harpoon bristling with sharp gravel stones, craft wild and throw at enemies to inflict heavy damage as an anti-dragon effect. Tool of the old dragon community. Yeah, same description there. Anything up top here? No, it was just that cookbook. And what is that burning over there? That's interesting. By the way, there's a side of grace. That might be Egon. Good chance that that is Egon. Maybe. Oh no, this is the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Okay, I thought it would be more over this way. So climbing the peak. I wonder if they'd even let us in to fight Bale before going to the altar. Hmm. Bale, Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Bale the Dread. Summit of Jagged Peak. Okay. But this is an interesting place. It's under this big dragon. So we can actually meet this gal. Okay, cool. That is... The Dragon Communion Priestess, also known as Florisax, and... Wait, what? Huh? Why'd she disappear? Oh my goodness. That was less than ideal. Zem the Altar, Communion with Baal, but... Can't do that, because we haven't killed him. Both these have only arcane requirements, which is interesting. Channels Dread Dragon to roar with a heatwave blast. One of the greatest dragon communion incantations harnesses the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heatwave burst, using violent eruptions of fire in the area, and that includes magma. I did not hear about that. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening one day. And the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer one day. Shells the form of the Dread Dragon in right arm to smash foes with an exposed talonbone coursing with flame lightning. This one is actually better despite having a lower requirement to my knowledge. Oh. Yeah. Offer done. Altar Ritual Dragon Community, the only thing there is Ghost Flame Breath, which is okay ish. Transforms Caster into a Dragon to smooth Ghost Flame Breath from above, charging Sensoration. This incantation can be used while jumping. The line of spirit grapes is home to all manner of dead, and even the corpses of fallen dragons found their way there. Several of them were endowed with such vivacity that even in death they could not fully die. Interestingly enough, you don't actually need to kill any of the ghostling dragons to get this, it just costs three hearts. What do you mean by another incident? Was there something that happened before? Okay, now she's... Wait, whatever. Hello. That's not my name. I've done it before. Vilest Dragon. Oh, okay, so... Partake in the essence. Sort of like the Baldachin's Blessing. As it should be. Now, seek the Jagged Peak. There you will find 
say the oldest and vilest of all dragons. Hunting Moby Dick. If you say so. You know, maybe we shouldn't tell her that we kind of killed Placidius X. Ancient Dragon's Blessing. This is probably what Wansix looked like when she and Vike were kind of a thing. I've heard a lot of people joke about causing the real Shibuya incident. Okay, Ancient Dragon's Blessing uses FP to increase all damage negation. Favor bestowed by the Dragon Communion Priestess in the name of the Dragon Lord Placidius X. Assume FP to increase all forms of damage negation, including physical. This also increases damage negation while guarding his additional effect. She denied the Priestess offers her own sleep to reward and in turn receives the power of his favor. So the Telia's concoction that we got... essentially exists to make her sleep and lose her vigil so that we can basically make her join us instead of serving the Dragon King, which is somewhat amusing. We have to meddle. You can actually buy more of these from Telia if you use it up, because all it does is just kill you. Capable of putting even an ancient dragon to sleep. Anything else to say? Do you sell anything? Ask about Bale. And that's why Placidia Sax is 3 out of 5 heads missing. Yeah, losing 3 heads is a bit more than that, frankly. And the two armed dragons. As opposed to the forearm to ancient dragons. Landbound warrior. Kill all the smaller dragons. I have killed all but one. All but two, Bale included. Actually, more because of the Jagged Peak Drakes. Never mind. It's funny, because eventually he destroys you. She's not exactly looking for her best interest here. Okay. What is interesting is that... <sighs> ancient dragons only take half the damage of an anti-dragon effect. So this katana has a 30% bonus damage, damage bonus, against... Regular dragons. Ancient dragons, that's reduced to 15%. And Placidius Axe, since he's the lord of all dragons, is not affected by that at all. But what's interesting is that Bale, even though he's arguably the hardest dragon boss, is just a normal dragon. That it's... His kind who are and became the drakes. And therefore, he takes the full brunt of the damage modifier, which is actually really cool. It gives you a way to compensate for his difficulty. But it's interesting. So it seems, in order to get around here, we're going to need to. Oh, wow. That's real cool looking. Can't really see it because of the grace icon. But the altar is just this gigantic dead dragon. Which, again, is arguably. No, no, there's another dragon in here, I believe. We can't see on the map. That is apparently the biggest dragon in the series. Although it's just terrain. In terms of things that actually move, I think Dragon Dragon God from Demon Souls might still be the biggest, which is crazy. Though, to be fair, it's not really much of a boss. Dragon Communion Harpoon... But again, they're not really useful for much of anything. So what if we go down on this wing? 
Other way, Char was in great is definitely around here. No other dragon give me a harpoon, whatever. It's right over the Abyssal Woods. Abyssal Woods is an interesting place because it has enemies that are totally immune to damage until you parry them. I think I'm act I, I think I'll go and try to kill them all. Parry them all and then kill them. Because once you've parried them. You can just damage them normally. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there was anything there. Let's see a bit of red lightning crackling. But it... It's dark enough that maybe I should set it to daytime. Enough darkness in here that it's hard to see. And oh, well. That does it for me. Oops. I thought there would be something on the other side. Alas. Well, it's daytime now. One way or the other. That said, it's not that much brighter. Big thing is... we sit Thank you, I'm glad you liked it. I set it to night. Should be able to... Basically slipper the poison. Where's up her sleep? Yep, exactly. Use that concoction. There we go. Oops. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. So. When she wakes up, Posidius X will abandon her. Turn about is fair play. Go ahead, tell me to eat a dragon heart until I turn into a funny magma one. Okay. So I might have to wait until daytime. Probably. Hello. Oh? Okay. Let us make it daytime. And she will have failed in her duties as priestess due to our interference. Hi. Oh, well, how many resets do I need to have her wake up? Try one more time. Maybe I need to kill Bale. Maybe. Either way, that is the more involved form of the quest line, I would argue, given that you need to get Delia's stuff. And it gives you a spell. Normally, she just vanishes and gives you a weapon. It's an interesting weapon, but... It's a Flowerstone Gavel, which is notably... An arcane sailing weapon that deals lightning damage with its skill. Which... Gives access to lightning damage for arcane builds. That said, that's not really a concern for us. And what we just did is going to give us her as a spirit summon, as well as a special spell. That's what happens when you meddle. Get rewarded for your bad behavior. Get a bit more light in this. Yeah, this should be Charo's. Charo's hidden grave. It's a field of red flowers. Get a bit more starlight up in here. It... No, that's not how it works. Because it is her weapon. When you get her as a spirit summon, you don't get that weapon in part because she just uses it herself. This is not Soul Eater. Try harder next time. Okay, come on. Anything up here? Miss Talon? No. If I promise, if I read Soul Eater, would you give me money? Would you pay me to read Soul Eater? Oh, come on. Okay, now that you've said that, I'm never reading Soul Eater. You ruined it. Okay. Okay, fair. This is a, this is a 
sad Italian moment, I suppose. Head over there. Oh, this is, yeah, it's around the finger runes. Please, what, read Soliot or fall off? Hmm. Maybe if... Come on! Come on! Well, it's funnier that way. Don't worry about it. So my question is... What is up here? On this... Wedge? Is there another dragon, or...? Is there anything at all behind here? Seems like there might be something. I think I saw something. I... I have dignity. Also, that's not the kind of thing you can do in public. And that is... Which one is that? Hmm... Anything here? It's not look like it. So I guess this was pointless, but it gives you a really nice look at the finger ruins. Well... For one, you're Italian. And what... What do you mean by... What do you mean by worse, anyway? I'm worried. Okay... I, I imagine it was Yaoi. Okay, just Dragon Commune in Greece. Okay. Keep on going... Around this place... As in, ostensibly appropriate or not? Yeah, fair. Sharp gravel stone. Skill of an ancient dragon that is supped on the blood of lesser dragons. Oh, so the point of this is to... This is basically a sharp gravel stone farming spot. So now that makes some sense. Okay, so we could use this for grease if we felt like it. Or for something else. Yeah, def definitely not when it would arguably be a matter of public record. I respect, I respect your prudence. Well, I'm glad that you've inserted yourself in the situation. Definitely tells me a bit about what's going on here. Hmm. Any other... Gravel stones to pick up again. It's not as if we really need them. I was using something other than the dragon community. The dragon hunter katana. I might like that, but... The fact that it's your business. You see it as your business. As your, as your own personal evil plan. To get me to read it. It's all about, if I read it and I never told you and you didn't know, there would be no point to it. Because this is a humiliation ritual. You're exercising your control over me. Or what you see is your control over me. Okay. Spread flowers and... I don't think these are spider lilies. No, these are not spider lilies. Okay. I... All I'll say is, is that taste in art is very subjective. <laughs> so I wonder what else is going to be in here. In the hidden grave. Either way, it... Jagged Peak is not that big. It's basically just... Go up past the arch, across the bridge. We, this is where the second fight against Drake sits. And then... Should be Bale's location. Come on, come on. How are we doing this? Well, that's the thing, is that we have different priorities. That I, li I like things that make me cry. I have to cry more, not less. Hmm. 
The blades are definitely better. Thank you. Well, it's... It's a stress relief thing. I don't want to generalize too much. But oftentimes, part of being a guy is wanting to cry and having to actively look, at, look out and find something to make you cry. Something you have to actively provoke. Or maybe it's just because the constant just particles of cat poop and the in hair in the air have just clogged my tear ducts. Because crying is literally a stress release. When you cry, you cry out a bunch of stress hormones. No, seriously. Crying gets- crying releases cortisol. Well, it's probably because they don't have cats that they're allergic to in their house. Gravekeeper's brain pen? And we found a hidden grave of Charo. Skull bone of an old gravekeeper. The old graveskeepers are boatsmen and continue to summon the dead even after weathering away. Good for them. Let's grab that broken rune. But. If you're looking for excuses then, does that mean that crying does not actually de stress you? That's sad to hear. Either way... I wonder if there's gonna be another grace here. No! No! It depends on the allergy, maybe. But... It's not like breaking out in hives, it's... The, the issue is that the tear ducts swell up, get clogged, and can't open. And that makes it literally harder to cry. Yeah. It is what it is. So... Some coffins over here. I could survive with that fall. Said I wouldn't want to go down that way anyway. There's another tibia mariner in there. I wonder what it is that makes you say that. Main thing is there's another one of those big high level spirit ash upgrade glove warts in this coffin ship that which we can only access by dropping down from here. But I don't necessarily want to go down there yet. So that would mean having to restart from the altar. Hmm. Huh. Also, a Tibia Mariner in there, which means. Let's get this out. You are also. Not undead, but weak to holy. Hello there. Oh, goodness. You're actually rather strong. Okay, I- oh my- what?! Just summon revenants? Okay, that's ridiculous. Never mind. Well, maybe. Big thing is we- oh my- what?! Huh?! Huh?! Oh my lord! Okay. What the hell?! Okay, my question is... Does the Revenant get summoned by the Tibia Mariner? Or is it just a coincidental spawn? Oops. Memorize spell. Healing spell would be good here then. Kill the Revenant with some healing. Which... Let me see. Royal Revenant. Which is going to deal the most damage? Heal, Great Heal, Lord's Heal, and Urge Heal. You know, just a normal heal, sure. Okay. 
We are going to try that again. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll not spawn the revenant this time or something. Depending on whether the revenant is spawned in by the mariner or not. Alright. Okay then. Cool. And here we are, Charo's Hidden Grave. It's not really hidden as much as too high up to be readily accessible, honestly. It's different. Let's actually buff up a bit. Blessings Boon, Golden Vow. Take Black Flame, sure. And a Sacred Blade should be a good option. Additional buff and over Grails. All the way over there because of course. Come on, come on. I Thanks. Take you out and Thank you. Cut one I dodge. It's definitely a summon. Almost certainly. Luckily, we can just keep smacking you. Hello there. I dodge. Smack. One, two, three, four, and you're gone. Okay, cool. Should drop a cookbook, I believe. If the Tibia's cookbook, and it's the only one of its kind. Record of crafting techniques to the Mariners, the oldest of gravekeepers. Details an ancient means of summoning the dead, acquired the knowledge craft the fallen call of Tibia. Which is not particularly useful. And it's that gravekeeper's brain pan, but basically glowing. Zephy to summon one lost in death. Ancient ceremonial tool that uses a gravekeeper's skull as a catalyst. So Zephy to summon one lost in death at the spot that is thrown. The creature spins and mows down foes in the vicinity three times before dissipating. Dead of long enough to wander, what they need is leadership. That's the same description. More or less as... Okay. So, that Revenant was literally summoned by the Mariner, then. It's kind of crazy. As the Tibia summoned Sorcery, which isn't particularly useful. But we will grab that Glove Wart. Grab another great grave Glove Wart. Fair enough. Grass, yeah. Then we need to teleport back. So that's you get down. There. If you care to. Alright. So we gotta go back to the altar. That's fine. But that mini boss there is gone for good. Very nice. Hmm. Actually, my question is, there's a demi-human swordmaster around here. I'm wondering if he respawns or not. It was a pretty tough encounter, but... And it drops some starlight shards, which... Maybe signifies that it's non-respawning, given that those items are rare. I just want to see for the sake of my own. edification and it oh he does respawn so I guess that's an infinite way to get more starlight charms if you're interested in getting starlight charms huh okay so back to the hidden gray where all the eels are get rid of that now because we Got that coffin ship. I do wonder what else is around here. I feel as if a furnace going being around here would make some sense. Field of red flowers. Let's put our swords back on. This back on. Okay. So the one enemy with a health bar that I fought this time was Demi-Human Queen Mariga. 
And it is funny how much a similar name is to Merica. I wonder if there are any implications to that, and if so, what they are. As Merica, as we'll see a bit later, is originally from the Land of Shadow. And in fact, it's part of what the DLC was basically sold on. Learning her origins. Thank you. Merica, of course, being the setting's primary goddess. Come on, come on. Good old stamina regen debuff. Grab another brain pan, I suppose. It's not nasty at all. Hmm. Let's get over that way. Gonna have to loop around a bit. That's fine. Hello there. We run in, we can avoid that, which is good. What else is going to be in here, if anything? Go down this way, this is where the tibia was. Well, close to it. Hmm. It is interesting that... Oh, Gravekeeper's Cookbook 2. Holterstone. Holter stone. That's makes a noise imitative of human presence. Contrivance of the grave keepers made from spirit grave stone. Oh, you can see the sort of wings of the grave crickets on top too. Notable item creates noises imitative of human presence where it lands been thrown. Said to have been used by the solitary grave keepers to distract themselves from their longing for company. Well, that's actually really sad. Ouch. Turn over there is. Right, the finger weaver's hovel was. Yeah, we had to reach that from the ruins. That's right. So what is this over here? Hmm. Pretty sure there should be at least one dungeon in the hidden grave, or at least one death right bird. It's funny that the brain pans are basically just identical in appearance, albeit a little duller and grayer and browner than the skulls that you can break as objects and sometimes get runes from. What is that? Is that a skeleton or? Oh, really? What is that guy? I bet some kind of skeleton? Let's see. Before that, we should re equip our sacred damage stuff. It's taking off the gloves. Let's just buff up because we can. Golden Vow. Sure, Black Flames. Sacred Order. Gotta keep that out so the buff stays. Sacred Blade. Cool. So busted. And you are... What are you? A big skeleton? Doesn't matter. You can easily deal 10k damage with that dinky well projectile just by stacking anti-undead buffs. So... What else? What is around here? Just a grave glove ward. Okay. Well, it's, uh, brain pans, I guess. Oh, and grave crickets. Let's see, this is up top over here. Nothing much then. So where to next? Oh, Ghost Flame Bloom. Blossoms in the Hidden Grave of Charo. Ghost Flame Flower that grows in grave sites. If I pair with another grave site flower with the Grave Violet, that's the one we see in the normal map. Oh, but incorporeal, it burns without so, without so much as a sound. Huh. Okay. So then, keep on moving. What is next? 
Down there is, of course, the Abyssal Woods again. Which I believe I'll be able to get to once I go through Shadow Altus. Kind of like with the Dragon Spit being the only way to get to Jagged Peak and therefore the Hidden Grave. I believe there's a dungeon in Shadow Altus that takes us down to the woods. It... A lot of people have compared the DLC specifically to earlier Souls games. And of course because people think a lot about Dark Souls 3. A lot of thoughts about Dark Souls 3. Is the verticality and frank with the linearity of things makes it a lot more similar. You can choose orders, but Oftentimes, there are a lot of just straight shot paths where if you want to go somewhere, there is one way to get there. For better or worse. It's just a design decision. And it is good for getting you to approach an area in a certain way. Which is pretty important for Oh, set pieces. My question is, pretty sure there's a death right bird around here. So, wondering where it will show up. Maybe in there. I guess my question is, will it have to be night for it to show up? Oh, well, hold on. It's the set of grace. And this just is the actual one that just says Charles Hidden Grave. Okay. So in that case, loop around this way. Wonder if if this, which is presumably elevated, might be the only way to get up here, or if we can maybe go from behind. Hmm. But a death right bird. What about a death wrong bird? Death of Rhyme Bird. And it's in... Yep, it's in Charos. And... Hit it in. Hit it in Charos, Hidden Grave, and it's... It's around, though. It's actually by all those statues. Okay. But it... Only shows up at night. Well, as with most, most Death of Rhyme Birds... The mountaintops ones appears even during day. And... Okay. Does not say that it only appears at night. So I bet that the Charles one also appears during daytime. Main thing is, like with the Ghostwing Dragons, we stack anti-undead, damage buffs, it will go down very easily. It's a Grave Cricket, that's why I didn't really see anything, because those things are tiny. Hmm. My question is just, what those Ghost Flame Balloons will actually be useful for crafting, if anything. So lots of these Crickets. Hello there. Hi. There we go. Easy enough to break you down. Yep. Hmm. Who else and where? Oh, look. Hello. Smack you again. Take a bit more punishment. But, if we hit you while you're getting up, it doesn't matter much. Okay. Sacred Order would help, but it's honestly overkill. Eh. In case you run into someone else, sure. That's sad. Not sure how many more undead might be in the pool here. Oh, there you are. Hello. Simple enough. Human bone shard. We go up top. It's a big statue there. So I suppose I do wonder what is all up with that. Broken rune. And... Go around this way. Hmm. Give me... 
bit more of that said. Definitely put the Starlight back on, which will force me to reapply these buffs. It's not like they're expensive, but still. This, again, seems a bit closed off. The Baron. Hmm. It's funny to see these two sets of grace right next to each other horizontally, but very far away vertically. You know, it... You know, what if they had the Genshin map layers? I didn't say that. Oh, there's a Call of Tibia. Sacred Order. Sacred Blade. Good stuff. So, who else and where? Smack you. So nice to just absolutely obliterate these skeletons. A weapon that is almost entirely, not almost entirely, but very primarily holy damage with an anti-undead modifier. Two anti-undead modifiers on top of that. So we also have the one from the dagger. Hello. Out of my way. Thanks. And another. Cool. Hmm. So what is that statue over there? Interesting question. Either way, we can buff back up, though, if we already got a buff back up. Honestly, may as well refresh our starlight. Maybe get some healing on, too. Okay. And I... Didn't actually mean to do that, but that's fine. Let's switch out. Back over here. Sacred Blade, and... Some of these have got to be... Moving Grave Birds. Actual enemies that I can take on. At least one of them. It'd be funny if it was the massive one. Just one huge Grave Bird. Probably not. Oh, they seem to all be moving. Okay. Cool. Okay, these ones seem stronger. So. Not taking as much damage. Alright. Okay. That one woke up. If that one could wake up, I would cry. Oh, rings of spectral light. Oh, interesting. Come on, where is that one? Simple enough. Okay. Rings of spectral light. Wait, spectral rings of light that fire in unison. This is a death sorcery. Sorcery practiced by the keepers of the spirit graves where all death ultimately drifts. Creates rings of spectral light that fire in unison, charging enhanced potency. The rings of light of the same qualities as ghost flame. And deal magic damage while also causing frost buildup. Okay. But it's interesting that... It's, it's not Ghost Flame, it just has the same properties as Ghost Flame, which is an interesting distinction, which, you know, who knows what that means in practice, but they made a distinction. So this, we definitely had to come up here to get down to this part over there. Okay. Hmm. So... Anything else of note over here, or not? Interesting. Got a few more of them, and... This is where the death right bird is eventually going to be. Should definitely go back and... Buff up first. That's life. Go back, get my... Blast back, maybe change out my spells a bit. Put in something like Barrier of Gold. That'll be fine. So, just a human bone shard. Anything else around here? Does not really seem like it. I. Oh no, you could have reached this part up here by going down that side. Okay. Hmm. If you still have the ability to communicate. What, what are your hopes for Aura Rowan's kit if he actually does come out in 
as people are saying. It's just a sort of off-field DPS, on-field DPS support. There, there is a significant contingent of people who want him to basically just be boy Fischl. So you can run Fischl teams without... So you can replace Fischl with a dude. Huh? If desired. But some people are saying in light of recent leaks that maybe he might be something like Chevros for Electrocharged. Because there's an Electro Wyob apparently based on some leaks of future Night Soul challenges. Gives you buffs when you activate Electrocharged. Honestly, I still don't entirely believe that he's going to be Electro. It's just based off of one screenshot of the beta. And it would be really funny if that was a bait and switch. We'll see. Okay. So. Got a number of birds over here. Let's get this back. I might actually need a few more buffs, maybe. Yeah, we need more buffs. Because these grave birds are at least a little stronger. Okay. Hello. Hmm. Barely gets that one tap with both buffs up. So I think I'm going to ride through it. Oh, there you are. Okay. Cool. That's where that death right bird is. It doesn't see me yet. Let's take this opportunity to put some buffs up. And hope that it does not interfere. We'll see. Death right bird. Alright. Get sort of behind and under it. We can dodge. I okay, never mind. Come on. Roar. Good stuff. I okay. Come on. Let's. Uh, Sacred Order. And. So we got that, but still. I Come on. Dodge. Let's. Mm, there we are. Kind of. Okay. Never. What? I hate you. This other oh, ghost flame is annoying. I. Really, really good damage there. Really good damage there. I. Mm, what are you. Okay. Hit the head and the projectile at the same time. Now this is crazy with the boss. Okay. One more. And what? We miss? Oh, you're kidding. Oh, come on. That was really aggravating. The main thing was just... The gray birds are liable to interfere. It honestly seems like they all aggro at once or something. I don't know. But it... You get the buff off, you're good to go. More accurately, if you're able to take all the birds out, you're good to go. Okay. Kind of clear the air. Make sure that... Oh my goodness. Okay. Sure that none of the other... Birds can mess with me during this fight. You are positioned annoyingly. Okay. So, it's actually just buff up. Means probably running away a bit. Or not. Hmm. Flask. Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. Barrier gold. Rails roar. Okay. Then we put our other one into undead buffs back on. We're good to go. Oh, is that bird coming over now? I seems like it honestly. Well, okay. Dodge and Oh, what? Kill yourself. 
Okay, I need to go and take out every single grave bird before this stupid flight starts. So that's what it really seems like to me. There are two of them somehow. Some bull. Come on. Just let me take out the birds at least. Come on. Strafe that. Okay. Hi. Grails can work. Okay. Nice. They didn't stun you, which is the annoying thing. Oh, okay. So the damage there wasn't all that impressive. Okay. Take that back. And we can get these buffs on. Cool. Thanks. Alright. Oh, oh, well, okay. Slam, and another. Do it, and when it works, it works. What a joke. Okay. Let's level up. Ash of Horton, Ghost Flame Call. Rest out Armament to summon Ghost Flame Cold Affinity. Fill up with a normal attack to set the ground to blaze a Ghost Flame or strong attack to trigger a massive explosion. That's basically just Death's Poker skill. But freely equivalent on anything. Okay. Well, not anything, but a lot of things. So, let us simply... Take that level before I inevitably end up losing my stuff. Well, that is if I don't level with it. <laughs> Vigor's always good. So... Let's move on. So it's more of the stupid death birds, I mean grave birds, but we'll be okay now. We can just fire sacred blades at them and though it does cut it a bit closer, it is still a one tap. Ones are a lot stronger, and I know that Charo's hidden hidden grave is one of the later game areas actually in the DLC. So we are here a bit early, arguably, which is okay. It's not world ending, but okay, cool. Let's buff up a bit, maybe. Hmm. Come on. Oh, please. Okay, that procced, but closeness is, for lack thereof, is annoying. Main thing is... The projectile's range is... Not amazing right now. It's actually becoming a bit of an issue. Okay. We need to actually get Sacred Order back on. Budge. And... Hit. There we go. Hmm. How do I... Make this work, and how many more grave birds are around here? So it does seem as if they are sort of the primary threat. But I do wonder who and what else is going to show up. So this is where that furnace golem was, and there's another furnace golem over that way, too. What I'm wondering is whether it's going to be one of the Furnace golems that you have to take out with throwing pots from above. It might be. Those are ones you need to save the furnace the visages up for. Hmm. So. Check this out. Broken rune. Okay. There's another one down there. Just can't resist poking around like that. It's hoarder behavior. So... Go up under this way. Will there be anything to find? That is my question. Stuff down here. Mm -hmm. This seems to be... Off to the side. Maybe a dungeon? Something? 
Or is it going to be another dead end? That would be funny too, and... What do you know? Another complete dead end. We'll carefully race ahead. And I... Oh yeah, you can... Barely see it twinkling. It's actually a pretty fun observation. This is... Is no item up here, but... This is a spot we came to before. Yeah, I was wondering how I'd get up here. And this is how there... Again, there isn't really a point to it, but... I suppose sometimes it's nice for them to just give you nice vantage points. Because they're pretty. So... What's here? Ah, oh, the Spirit Glaive. Spirit Grave? Sword blade sculpted into which is shape. Glaive that has seen many years of use in the gravesite, set to serve as a medium for communion with the spirits. Just like that spirit void, basically. Let me see what this does. Let's demonstrate that skill, I suppose. And it's more or less the same. Interesting. More or less. Okay. Hmm. Keep going in the water around here. I wonder if this leads up to this western portion, because I imagine that you can also get there by jumping from this ledge to there, maybe. I wonder what's at the end of this all. Or what it sort of terminates in. So the finger ruins had their bell, and then that... And the shack. The finger weaver's hovel. But... If we go all the way over here, and Surlin Kosmor was terminated in the demi-human queen. Well, also stone coffin fissure, but... It's not something I really have access to right now. But let's get our starlight back up. Thank you. Who else is... Any more grave birds? Any more items? No skeletons, it seems. Central Island... Could make sense for it to have something, but it does not have anything. Good thing the horse can turn on a dime, because otherwise... It'd be really funny if they had realistic horse physics in the sense of... The horse can get stuck. It would not make the game better. It would make it more frustrating. And nothing else. But it would be funny. Alright, go away. Hmm. More of the eels over there. But again... Which way are we supposed to go? What will we find? That is the way to... That coffin ship where that demi-human queen was. But... Hmm, Ghost Flame Bloom. This does seem to lead around. Same general way. It also goes, I suppose, underneath. Underneath. Graveside Plain. Hmm. It's a promising avenue of exploration. But given how distinct it is, I think that's actually... Good sign to leave it for after I go through the rest. We'll loop back around then. There's some Miranda flowers that I saw, and of course the eels, and all those are dealt with well using the backhands. So we'll spec ourselves out for such an encounter yet again. Hello. Oh my goodness, they're pretty bulky for flowers. Huh. So, in that case, chop you back up. Thank you. I do wonder if a difference would maybe be made by a great rune. I feel like there's a good chance that it would turn it from a 
three hit kill to a two hit kill, and therefore one button press kill. Maybe. It doesn't really matter. The only time that DPS really matters is, ironically enough, on enemies that don't. can't really be made into one hit kills. Okay. Mm -mm. The stronger an enemy is, the faster you want to take it out. There are skeletons here. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. Probably re equip. The funny hammer. Yeah. Before those skeletons spawn me. Put our hammer back on. Okay. Gloves off. Sacred Order. And it's Sacred Blade done. Mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. How many other skeletons are going to be here, if any? Who knows? But those ones are gone now. Oh, but. Oh, hello. Summon here. Thank you, I... Alright. Gotta walk around a little. See who we might be able to spot. I think there's one more over here. Okay. This be an item on that corpse. Hmm. Seems to have been about it. Put our blades back on and get to it. Buff up a little for the sake of taking down the big Miranda flower. So I can do that as quickly as possible because I do not want to spend more time on it than necessary. Oh, we even cut down the bird. Some how berserk I was, I suppose. Anything here around that coffin ship? It is a drop down back to the coast that I could not survive. Okay. But I do think it would have to be getting your Shadow Keep that would allow me to take on the Putrescent Knight. Breaking that Mikkel rune. Hmm. So then. Let's just put on all the box. Every single one. Golden Vow. Oh, wait. Golden Vow. Sure, Black Flame. Blood Flame. And even Grail. Even Grail. Wait for that to go, then. We're taking some time to dissipate. Come on, Poison Cloud. That is the sign. Okay. And that killed. Nice. Okay. Cool. Slash. Now we can just continue chopping. That's simple enough. Let's dodge out of the way of that. Thanks. Good power shot away. Two, three, four, five, six. And the board was procs. It is fun when you bleed things that can't bleed. Oh, please. Luckily, no poison. Not that crafting anything to cure poison is much of an issue, but still. Greater Potentate's Cookbook 14 in that. Hefty Rancor Pot. That takes... Oh, Ghost Flame Blooms are for that. Okay. Capacious Crack Pox. Pot enchanted by the Ancient Death Hats. Death Hacks. Vengeful Spirits. Throng of Vengeful Spirits. And it's the same description of Burning Dead Ghost Flame. Vengeful Spirits from the Cinders. It, it does raise the question of why they did that then, if... Burning the dead in Ghost Flame just made them angrier. Was it to prevent something worse, or... Were they just stupid? Were they... Did they like the idea of angry spirits, then? Hmm. So that's a... Some kind of rhinoceros. Oh, interesting. Golden rhinoceros. It's a weak to. 
golden rhinoceros. Elden ring. Good god. Golden ring. Golden rhino. Oh. Is that the... Oh, there's a shadow tree fragment. Oh my lord, I... Okay. Alright. I didn't think you'd see me. Question is what it's weak to. Gonna come down here or what? Okay, it's staying away. It's actually a boss. Golden hippopotamus. Weak to... Fire and lightning. Slash fire. Some lightning. I... Hmm. Golden hippo. All hippos. Don't use golden incantations. Okay. So the golden hippo... Only the shadow keep on is arguably golden then. Okay. Got a shadow tree fragment from this. So fire and... Slash would be good options for this, but they're resistant to bleed, apparently. Okay, well, let's get this started. Physical should be a good option. Thank you. Blood flame and Grail, sure. Oh, hippo. I... Nice. I, oh, I... Okay. Go ahead, by me. Actually did not do much in the way of damage. Okay. Dodge. Uh, Alright. Chop up and... Actually, you're not that strong. You can just keep on... Chopping until you die. Okay. Dodge. Ooh, well... Annoying hitbox. Dodge. Two, three, four. Uh... Dodge. Okay. Whatever. Dodge. Yo. Dodge. Okay. Dodge. And the blood what's gotcha. Okay. Cool. And got a shadow tree fragment. Good stuff. Mm -mm. Keep on moving this way. That. It broke that tree, I imagine. Isn't paying all that much attention, frankly. Okay. So then. Let's pawn then this over here, which I believe is going to be Furnace Golem related. But my question then is. Give me a set of grains so I can change out my spells, because I do not have Pest Threads up right now. And it is my best anti Golem option. That Furnace Golem option. That said. That might be the one one of the ones where you need to throw in furnace pots. Can't quite tell. Oh, okay, cool. Chop. You seem stronger. Maybe. That one's just standing. We'll see what all is around here then. Hmm. Get over there except. Uh. Come on, come on. Any skeletons in here? Doesn't seem like it. So it really was just that golden hippopotamus and the shadow tree fragment, I suppose. Okay, don't kill me. Thank you. Now this beast river. Come on. Got you over there. Come on, go in a circle. Chop up, and there we go. Cool. Hmm. That's where that dancer's muscle aim was. Hmm. Big gravestone got anything or not. Either way, should probably see how many furnace spots I can craft. Let's check the health tea. Furnace spot. Oh, we need more embers and mesmer for that. Okay. That said, I bet I could. Throw to cheese things by just casting pest threads on it. And just gradually whittle it down, if it even is one of the ones that you have to throw pots in. 
Which it very well might not be in the first place. Broken rune. Hello, sheep. Hello. So. Bristling bloom. More eels. Oh, one with horns. Okay. Fair enough. Chop. 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 Okay. Call me the eel killer. Hmm. Down here, was I here already? Yeah, I was. Was there already? This is again that. Where was I? This might be, yeah, it's a slightly different drop down. It's still instant death, but. Again, a pretty view. So, in that case. Let us kill more eels. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Alright. Not great. I. Right. Oh, oh, what? Wow, embarrassing. I should have just had more health at the start of that. That's the big thing. I went in there with low health and gonna be able to tank that easily. I would have been able to if not for the fact that I, well, just didn't have the health for it. Okay, well then. You have to rush past most of these guys then. Oh, but this is also an opportunity to put pest threads back on. Yeah, okay. Pest threads and maybe... Oh, we can level our blessing. Here we go. Pest threads and probably flame protect me, maybe? Maybe. Probably, maybe. There were gold. No, we want... Flame protect me. Let's keep on going. Gotta try not to die like that again. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Skeletons and- Ooh! Ooh, not good. My question is... Will I be able to one-tap the flowers now? Still can't one tap the flowers with one. Double hit. That's sad. Well. It's time to go past. It's. Not as if we have to fight the hippopotamus again. It's some small comfort. So. I feel like getting revenge on those eels. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Slash, slash, slash. Also, if nothing else, I suppose that having the Shadow Tree Blessing will help, too. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Okay. So... Wait for you to withdraw your guts. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. So, we got more of you. I think I killed these ones already. Probably. I... I guess it's fun to chop eels up. I feel like it'd be fun if they had food associated with them, though. The ability to just get spirit eel meat. That would be fair if they're incorporeal. Can't imagine that them having meat would make sense. Oh well. Come on. Chop. Chop. Nice. Another low level glove or Whatever. Okay. Hey. Going over to the Furnace Golem's domain, then. Cool. Oh, goodness. Three, four. Got you left. Okay. Slash, 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 slash. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. There are two. The overhang. And I suppose we'll be able to see... Whether the Furnace Golem is one of the normal ones, or one of the ones with guarded feet. It's one of the ones with guarded feet. Be in a bit of a position. Okay. Heavy. Let's see. And it... Let me see. 
Oh, what do you know? It's one of the ones with the guarded feet. Okay, let's... Spirit... Spring upwards. See if I can't kill you with... Other means. I... Oh, well... Doesn't help when... Your damage is crazy crazy. Let's see if Pesterets can even reach you. Golden Vow. So you're aiming for me. I don't like that. Come on, we'll just keep on rolling. Being able to aim that is frankly crazy in the first place. Oh well. Alright. Luckily, it... has a hard time damaging me. Oh well. Let's see how much damage is dealt. If any. Well, it... Mmm, it's just too far away. I wanna see... Oh, alright. I guess we could just farm Embers of Mesmer. There are a couple in Pensis. Yeah... Uh, that's what I'll do. First I gotta de-aggro you. Hmm. Sitting on me. I don't like that. So we gotta wait until you again de-aggro. There we go. So Castle Ensis has a em an Ember of Mesmer somewhere, and it should respawn. So I'll go find its location, get enough of those for three hefty furnace pots, or I could get more just in case I miss one, I suppose. Though ideally that should not be something I have to worry about. So one of these spots should have an ember of mesmer in it. Oh well. Thank you. Alright. Oh, okay. Stop! Dodge! And... Why not go for the critical on the Black Knight? Thank you. Honestly, really like how they have Black Knight enemies in the DLC. Not the same exact kind of Black Knight as Dark Souls Black Knights, but still. Where is that one Ember of Mesmer? Come on. Chucking those. Come on. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Mm -mm. Amber of Mesmer and Castle Insis. Or outside Castle Insis, that is. Might have been on the other side, maybe. I. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, come on. Am I stuck? Maybe. Annoying. Here we are. If we make use of the counter frames, it's actually a one tap. Hmm. There should be Ember Mesmer in here somewhere. What does this say on the fire? Oh, fire. Yeah. It's a funny sound, too. I wonder what is up with it specifically. Either way. Let's see if you find that Ember. And they do respawn. Kinda got stuck there. Okay. For the ember, and you can make those pots to take that furnace golem out. Cool. And die. Having the ability to charge like that is incredibly useful. It'd be funny if it was just right over here, right where I started. Ember of Mesmer. I think it was in here. But it could easily not have been. And easily just not respawn. Hmm. Remember a mesmer early on. That is my question. And my quest. Come on. Boom. 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 Okay. 
sort of the point of that perfume was. There we go. A couple more of you. Oh well. Go ahead. And that is not actually counter frames. Okay. Searchers, axe, and gauntlets. So which one, if any, has the ember? Come on. Mes member of Mesmer. Member of Esmer. Hmm. Not here. This be a message? I don't know. Could it be? Member of Mesmer early. Got a dagger. Member of Mesmer. Or Mesmer. Shadow Altus. There's one in... Castle Ensis, right? Thought I... Castle front, straight west, one ember of Mesmer inside the tent. Okay. Straight west. So it was close somehow, and I just wasn't finding it. So it must have been one of these tents. Let's see. And... Rinse and repeat. Now this one? No. Straight west. Which tent is that going to be? Maybe one of these, or... It's not open. Maybe if it was farmable, they made it not farmable? I guess I could see that. But it's supposed to be straight west from Castle Front. So which one is it? The Ember of Mesmer in a tent. Straight west. Or at least west. I like how mechanical these fortifications are. Hmm. Is it always message? In here? Can't even get in here. What am I missing? It's not this tiny tent. See, I wonder if they changed it so that you couldn't farm Embers and Mesmer pre Shadow Altus. And of course, I guess I could just go to Shadow Altus. Without going to the keep and find a spot, but I don't know. Doesn't appeal to me. Didn't expect you didn't you don't have the right. But it should be somewhere around here, I would imagine. Or not? Is it okay, it's this one. It's this one. So it's not it's not straight west at all. It's a little bit south. That's where I'll get my embers. Cool. Just gotta rest to make it respawn and do that six more times. Okay. Actually, how many furnace visages do I even have? I do have four, so... Make four pots in case I end up... Missing one like an idiot, which hopefully I shouldn't do, but you never know. Serpentine cord like ember. Huh. It used to smolder as if crawling across the ground. It is nice that they have one there because, again, you need them for the furnace pots. Level up and take. Let's go for endurance, sure. Get a little bit more equipo that way, and that might make a difference. Maybe. Shadow Altus. We'll mean a lot more of those, and that's where... Presumably more of those funny fruit skulls should be. I wonder what is going to be in that one furnace golem, given that... Even though the furnace golems that you have to get up 
on top of Morawasser. By the side of the top of their head. They can even really be said to have heads. Sort of cephalothorax. Head torso. And... Honestly, as awful as it sounds, they basically have a Kirby body type. But... Basically just a head with feet and arms. But... The fact that you need the furnace visages to make the pots, which are a technically farmable, but generally very limited item, in order to defeat them. Unless you want to be really silly and just... Well, to be fair, the issue is that pest reds can't really get close enough to actually do the multi-hits that make it strong. One more ember should be fine. We'll go back, craft our pots, and... Yeah, whatever tier is inside of it. Thank you. Just one more. After furnace pots and be good to go. In that case, I should definitely boost my fire resistance to maximum. Because it is still technically possible that I totally whiff it by... Get rid of that, get rid of this... Oh, I could bet up top here, too. Okay. Go back here to Charo. It is still technically possible that I've seriously messed things up by... Oh. Using a couple of the pots and then dying. Which would suck. And that's... Every visage and every hefty cracked pot used. Lots of red flesh mushrooms. There we are. Impurity is thus a pink sponge, one calls it cleansing. Hex of the Furnace. Whirlwind of Flame. And everything but intelligence. Also arcane too, I suppose, but that's more normal. Alright. Put this on. Put on. Flame drink? Sure. Okay. Hold right can stack that too. So in theory you could have lots of sources of negation for that. But we are going to put the furnace pots on now. We need them. Oh come on. Where are they? There we go, okay. And I wasn't even looking. So that could have easily ended up really stupid, but at least it's not as if. A death would be that much of a setback. Just have to run over again. Go into that spirit spring. Buff up and then start tossing. Because you can't hit through there. Actually, what I want to see briefly is... Would you be able to... Well, you can't even target. You can't even target the feet. Damage is probably out of the question entirely then. Physic Flask. Blessings Boon. Come on. Golden Bow. Flame Protect Me. And now we we'll just start tossing. Should not be all that much of an issue, except we need to wait until the golem gets closer. We would not be able to actually land them from here. Hi, hello. Toss, I- oh my- oh, well that was quite bad. There we are. There we are, and... One more? Nice! Okay. And that's the end of you. Glove Wart Crystal Tear and a Furnace Visage. Glove Wart Crystal Tear is... As his attacks is spirit, where the scattered sap of the Shadow Troop pulls deep within the Furnace Golems. The resulting concoction temporarily increases the attack power of spirits and... But barely. It's pretty crap. Okay. I did it. Try throwing, therefore, projectile weapon required a hand. The sucky thing is... One of the pots got wasted. But that's why it's good we had a spare. Because otherwise I'd be screwed screwed. So... 
I could just put on the items and keep going from here. It's not as if I need not as if I need to go back. It's not as if I have ruins that I really need to keep on here. Okay. Sacred dagger. Thank you. Hmm. Clip load is a limiting factor. As usual. Let's figure out where we want to go. For a second I thought that red flower might have been an item I could pick up. It was not. So just off around here, but we've also got this area up top of the waterfall. Hmm. What I wonder is, is the Dragon Communion Priestess doing stuff yet? What's she up to? Hmm. Either way, let's keep on moving. See if there's anything up here. Probably not, but still. But, at least that furnace golem is gone. So if nothing else, we can spore the area down there more easily. Oh, grapefruit ashes. The spirit of an old golem and spirit grave keeper who flies with stone wings and spouts goat flame. Ghost... Goat flame? Ghost flame. According to legend, the graves were, grave birds were crafted to be kindred to the death birds. Hmm. Crafted by whom? And why? Why do why do the death birds need kindred? Do they get lonely? They need assistance, guardians, mooks, flunkies. Okay. Could probably survive that fall, but don't exactly care to test my luck. Hmm. Go over here. Step on another broken rune. Hmm. I guess this is mostly just a spot where you could hide from the furnace golem. What about that drop wood? I could love that drop though. Okay. Let's just see. Core materials, but one material. Okay, just grave crickets. Fair enough. And there we are. And that, not even any damage. It really is silly at times. Damages. Calculate differentiated here, and that's where the Demi Human Queen was. But of course, we took her out. Mm -hmm. And here around that water, and then there's also the stones here, but. I don't even remember if there was a single sort of gravestone staircase that even had any items to get. Or if it was all just silly and pointless. Okay, well. Something goes up, something goes down. I want to mark that so I come back for it. It'd be funny to check that out, I suppose. But. So this. Drops down into... Huh. Is that new? Or... I'm not sure I've seen this spot. Well, I probably have, but... And this would have to be... Part of the passageway that leads to... Demi-Human Queen. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Okay. I don't need to fall down there and die then. Let's get our sacred order back up. Take out the bird. Hello. How many birds are over there? Oh, I can see the one that's not even fully perched. It's not even perched right. What a clown. Well, I missed? Whatever. Okay, just say glow skull, glow skull board 9. Alright. Fair enough. And brain pen. There you go. Another skull item. Can go over this way, or... Hmm. Feel as if... It's got to lead to a dungeon. 
psychologically this feels right. Like the kind of place to find a dungeon in. Anything here? Only a fall. That would definitely kill me. Oh, well, clearly there's a dungeon there. See that gate? Hmm. Well, we can keep killing grave birds until the cows come home. Should probably take some time because I don't think there are cows in Elden Ring. Alright. Thank you. Got that nice stealth bonus. Another bird. Hope that hits, and yep, it hits. I have to have been right at the edge of my range. Okay. So we will take a few more out. Is that a... That's just a statue, I think. I hope. Yep, just a statue. It is nice that you can just distinguish them by walking on. Even though it's not exactly the most difficult thing to do. Even without walk. But it's useful. It's nice of them. It's convenient. Do that. It. Anytime you can stack that anti undead modifier. It's nice. Oh, hello. And we can knock you down via anti air, but. Not quite the same. I think that. It's not actually all of them. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Take this back. Take this back and... Smack you. Send out another projectile and there appears to be an item in there. Okay. Well. Easy enough. So what's on there? This is... Oh, just a fireproof pickle blubber. Okay. Mm-hmm. Forger brood pots. Forger brood. Forger brood cookbook. Seven of the cookbook locations. So one of them was in a pot. Mm -hmm. Spellproof. Shadow Altus. Graveside Plain. One in Cerulean Coast. Or in the Brood in there. Shadow Altus. Shadow Altus. And a. Oh no, it was the Bell Bearing, bell bearing Pots. I was mixing up the Forager Brood with the Crafting Bell Bearings, as both of them give you. More convenient access to items. There's a mushroom bell bearing. Look for some of the others as we go along, which means just being on the lookout for hanging pots that I can shoot down. With that short bow that either otherwise is not used for much at all, if anything. So. And until we come back, this will continue to smolder. I like that. Some panache. Swim bloom. Which is for the hefty rancor pot. So it's basically a grave violet. Of course, it seems that more materials are needed. The hefty, anyway. Mm. Yep, we go on the water. We go down that other pathway to where that dungeon is. So we could drop down there eventually, but again, it. I don't imagine there would really be much to gain. What else is here? This is. Hmm. More crickets, or. Yeah, just grave crickets, which. It would be fun if I could get more use out of the items there. The reason stealth is good in Sekiro is because the enemies are honestly very annoying to take down to the point that 
if you can use stealth. You almost always want to. But... Calling Elder Ring easy would be an exaggeration. But the enemies were not built around having to basically exploit them. Because the second all... All the bosses had two health bars. Because they were more or less operating under the expectation that you would want to find a way to stealth hit them. And in fact, if you didn't, things became terrible. And there were a few notable exceptions to that rule. So many bosses that you could not get a stealth death blow on, or at least would have a really hard time getting a stealth death blow on. But it was very much an exception that proves the rule kind of situation. Hmm. Is a dungeon over here. Wonder what it is going to be. Lots of cages. Another jail, presumably. Let's see. Yep, a dungeon. Okay. This is the Lamenter's Jail. Okay. And I believe that the Lam Lamenter themselves is <clears throat> the boss at the end of this dungeon. Which is interesting. We'll have transformation effect that we can get from taking them out. The item they give you once you turn into the Lamenter themselves. But suppose we'll keep looking. Hmm. I really. That ancient dragon man definitely hurt me. It was painful. So... Back down here, see if there's anything in the water. And I think, yeah, Elementor's Jail will be the next target. It's there, it's available. Take stuff down. Okay, come on. Slash, 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 slash. question is just, what is he weak to? Presumably slashing, because I'm pretty sure it's not really going to be wearing much in the way of armor or clothing. For that, let's just see what's down the path, though. If that leads me anywhere of note. Hmm. Over here we have more eels, more ghost flame blooms. For... Yep, this is still around the place where Demi-Human Queen was. So there are a lot of eels. Wonder if they're guarding something. Seems to be an item there, singular. Hmm. Slash, 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 slash. Okay, come on. That did it. So this is... Okay, just a close call for it. Alright. Hmm. Choro's Hidden Grave. I wonder if I'm missing anything. Probably not. Maybe. We'll see. But, even if we are arguably here a bit early, based on most fan-made progression routes, I don't feel like I'm in all that much trouble. Once we take out the Lamenter, the only thing left to do anyway is going to be to go fight Bale. Thank you, thank you. Mm. So I guess that was it. Alright. I think I'll go down the gravestone staircase. Let's drop down platforms. And then take out the Lamenter in his jail. Hmm. Because we've gotten underneath. This is basically underneath right where we started, too. It's funny. So much verticality in all this. And yeah, it's back to Jagged Peak. Better than Jagged Mid. Fragment Communion Priestess should hopefully be 
awake again, so we can do that part of the quest line, but we'll see. Let's suppose that after that, the only thing left to do, really, in terms of what's accessible now and what wouldn't break, huge amounts of progression would be Castle Ensis. But, of course, do have the Mikola Barrier over in Stone Coffin Fissure. So once we do progress things by breaking Mikola's Rune, we can, of course, fight the Putrescent Knight for real. Let's drop down, see what happens. Likely nothing. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. It, this is far down enough that I feel like an item would be warranted. Especially since... I suppose this is also just a way to get to Cerulean Cones. If you did not notice that you could gather from Elak River, but found your way to Jagged Peak. That's nice, I suppose. But it... Eh. That's enough of a reason to exist, I guess. So go back to the jail. Take on the Lamenter. And... Should be nice. Lamenter's jail. The boss is, of course, the Lamenter himself. A giant rat living Jar Jar inner its mesmer foot soldier. And the Lamenter. Vicar to lightning and to physical. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the swords on him. Actually, we'll... Pfft, just stab him. What does he attack with? Clones. Headspell clones. Lamenter's curse. Floating heads. Seven heads are active. Covering their head and dying instantly. It's on the clones at all costs. Shadow projectiles, and it actually does not have any kind of <clears throat> weapon. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, but I think it uses the Horned Baron. Maybe. Let's put Retreat Parat back on. And the stuff we have should take us through. That. Interesting. Where we came from. That's out. Don't need to go out. Need to go in. Got our swords. Should be good on the jars. Switch to Bloodhound's Bloodfiend's arm for crushing jars, I suppose. Oh hello! Or Shadow Undead. Cool. That said, I the sheer DPS of the blades would make it good. So that's locked. Okay. Interesting. Wonder how we can unlock these things then. Oh, hello! I oh, well, alright. Oh my goodness. Suit yourself, I guess. So anything in here, or... Time for dung. Oh, because it's... Oh, presumably it's their poop vent. Ouch. More frozen maggots? Okay, so I guess it's just in jails in general. <laughs> so... Through this way. That's the locked door. Try right. First off, you don't have the right. Oh, so they mean is it? Try getting the right to open it. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. You don't have the right. Oh, a bit more. Well. Hi, alright. On through and slash. Simple. It's in the chest. Answer is. Jail level upper key. A frozen iron key opens the iron grating on the upper level of the Lamenter's jail. So I suppose we'll let's go back and open that now. Maybe. Hopefully. And, yep, that worked. Okay. But, 
What is going to be in that other section that we have otherwise completely avoided? Be wary of right. Interesting. Oh, hello. Hi, Jar Innards. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. I. Oh, what? Okay. Dodge. Oh my goodness. Okay. Slash. Luckily, we can. Wow! Oh my goodness. Okay. In that case, I should probably use the Great Katana. I would imagine that weapon art would be good at keeping it stunned. Alright. Well, there we go. Let's start our way back up. Go back to where we were. Hopefully not die this time. Good old sword. I want to see how much damage this will deal. So that is a one tap, which is nice. The fact that the AR isn't all that much higher than the backhands is made up by the fact that this is just a higher motion value attack anyway. So, we will try this out. Okay, cool. Thank you, and slash. Can we jump and slash? Well, we almost died. But, no notably and importantly, almost also means not. Okay. Let's see what's all in here. Chilling perfume bottle. Oh, cool. And intelligence and dex. Magic dex scaling. Perfume bottle remade into a weapon by the perfumers of Realm of Shadow. Attacks perfumes perfume powder, producing an icy chill. Okay. That was fun to find. So we got fire, lightning... Uh, chilling, po deadly poison, and the last one, I believe, is going to be Frenzy Flame. Precious item ahead. Well, maybe later. Yup, oh my, ooh, okay. That was shocking. These ones are crazy. Thanks, okay. Head user attack. There we are. Cool. That is a fun skill to use. Works pretty well there, too. Oh, come on. So, what's up here? And, of course, you scream, too. Great. Oh, alright. Dodge. And we slash. Stuff. And. Mm. My goodness, they're actually insane. Hmm. Shadow Undead. Maybe we'll find another key in here or something. Didn't expect strong foe? Well, I guess you shouldn't have. It's not like there was one in there. There's a maggot. This is honestly getting kind of confusing trap ahead. Maybe I'll go the other way then. Hmm. It's a precious item. Really hope I don't get jump scared. That opens that too. Okay, item ahead, but no boss ahead. Oh, presumably both of those would work, maybe? You can drop down or find another way in. Okay. Jump, slash, and... Oh, the projectile got blocked. Okay. Cool. Here you go. Oh, you can close it, too. Interesting. Suppose then we can drop down. Plus it's boon. Get that. Get our sword out. Well. Put the starlight back on. I hear rats. Awesome. An item. That's... Oh, just inner meat. Great. Filling great jars, right? Okay. Comes to the Condemned. Nasty, nasty place. Bellarat gel is actually kind of cool. This is just gross. Okay. Thank you. That, maybe in that case, if I want to go for slashes, I should try to combo light into heavy. 
That'd be fair. So the hit stun would help. But it... It's not crazy crazy either way. Thank you. Hmm. Let's... Try to get down onto the giant rat. I... Okay. Cool. Slash! Okay. Hmm. Jump! Nice. That was good. The fact that it jumped up actually helped out significantly. Good rat, I guess. Somewhat helpful. This is actually somewhat labyrinthine. It's weird to think about. Where are you left? Is this where that ladder is? Oh my. Okay. Alright. That was annoying. One, two. Should have just gone for the poke. Or waited for the combo to extinguish. Cancel itself. So is this the way up? It should be. Pretty sure. If it's open, then it's where I was. Yep, it's where I was. Okay. Take that other path then. See if I find anything new. I bet that chilling perfume bottle was kind of the most important thing I would find here anyway. So what's in here? More rats? Any giant ones or just small ones? You're running. Oh, there you are. This is bait. Okay. Come on. Jump! Critical on the giant rat. And there we go. Goodbye. Cut you up. So what is here? This is... The Clarifying Horn Charm plus two. Friends? Probably not. That is Ceremonial Accoutrement, worn by Horn Scent, Vassal Raises Focus. Okay. Tangled Horn, Irrefutable Symbol of Primacy. We got another one of those plus two charms elsewhere. Alright. Wonder how it would have ended up here if they're sacred to Horn Scent. Unless horn scent sometimes gets sent here too. That is half of their name. Scent. Mm -hmm. I wonder how what I wonder how they smell. That would be their horn scent. Never mind. Okay. So we're back up top. Is that over there? This over here. Frozen maggots. I. Gotta be one of them gonna explode. Or not? Wait. Oh, okay, so... One was just hiding, it seems. Okay. Come on. There we are. Weary of monstrosity, yeah. So I guess it probably would have exploded when I went over here then. What? Okay. And- Oh, there was another? Really? Okay. Suit yourself. Come on. Hmm. How wide? How long is the OB here? I slash. Try that again. Slash again. I love this weapon art. Honestly, we could try marking this. Not having a map in this dungeon does hurt a bit, but. Oh, so. Presumably, looping around here might get me a key? Maybe. We'll see. Says something about a trap ahead. So you wonder what's going to go on here and whether those gates can even open. I'm going to close off, right? Oh, wow, okay. That's not what I expected. When they said trap, I thought they meant door slam shut behind you and... A bunch of jars start trying to kill you or something. That was different. Okay. So, where is this now? Behold, friend. Well, I wasn't exactly nice to him. Hmm. I think this is actually basically the start of the dungeon? Maybe. Now this? No. It's not a place we've been, but I think it does loop back up to the starting area. Call of Tibia. 
Again, nothing useful. Okay. So, go back out. Not a hidden path. Wait, what? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, well, this is also locked. Okay. It's one door and another. Oops. <laughs> it was silly just not knowing where it would be. I think it wouldn't be a hidden area. And then it was. I guess that's nice. Though I hate being wrong. Either way, I shouldn't fall for that trap again. See key, by the way, weak foe ahead. Jumping right ahead, beware of rushing in. So the key must be there, maybe. This is... Is this where I came from, or... It's entirely separate. Okay. Slash. And one more. Slash. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Seems like a... That jar was not fun, though. Weary of bug. Guess that's a way to describe it. Mm hmm. Only I had a lover. That's nasty. Not here? Okay, so this... Is that locked door from before? We need to find some keys. I would imagine... It's probably... The way to the jars down here. I Oh, that would kill me. That would just kill me. Okay. So, just a little bit of platforming. The jumping required ahead. Prison maggot. Living jars. It's the underneath that we were able to see from that passage in the underground area. And oh my goodness. Lots of just... Parts. Interesting. I wonder... Some living jars... How many jar fleshes are we going to find here, if any? I think these might just be jars. Might just be jars in here. Hmm. So let's get to smacking. Oh well. We got sent far, far away. Okay. The key might be up in there, but this place is nasty. Reminds me of... This area under the Soul Sanctum and Hollow Knight, actually. So this is... Oh well. Pillage Remains. Oh, so it's not loot, but... Oh, a hefty cracked pot. Hello. So they can jump, too. Okay. Fair enough. So there's a big one over there. I wonder if we can sneak up on it. Or if... Can I? Boom! Can we bleed you? I don't think you bleed. Okay. Well, that's it. Living Jar Shard, Rami Dumpling. Okay. Anything up here? This is just the way back, I suppose. Yeah. So is the key in that chest, or... What? Is in the pick up, or... Bloodstain? Yeah, it was a bloodstain. So just they got guess they just got clapped by that pot. Fair enough. Okay. Frozen maggot. And oh hello. Oh well. Okay, nice, kinda. Slam. Slam. Or not if I miss. Oh come on. One, two. Or not, I... Oh, well, you killed one of your friends. There you go. Cragblade. Yeah, I think Cragblade's good. Keep forgetting to use it. Okay. So let's get this from here. Is this the key? Should be the key. That's the jail lower level key. Okay. I'm reading on the lower level of the, of the Elementor's jail. Still the very start of the area. Likely Talisman, yep, that is where we got that horn charm before. So let's leave this place before I think too hard about this massive mound of corpses, which presumably was used for 
making those jars. Fair enough. What if I can get up on there? On that column? Maybe? Can't entirely tell. By the way, there are some nice things to open up now. Should do that. Hmm. Float away back to the start, maybe. Just need to remember to go back to the start. There was another spot in here with a hidden passageway. Not this, not that. And then, of course, the area around where we fell. So past the hidden. Open that up, see what we get. Anybody in here? I get the feeling that maybe one of the jar people might show up in here. Here's something. Shuttle Realm Rune 4. Hmm. Is this... Lamenting Visage. A torch, blindfold of happiness. Stone lantern carved to resemble a lamenting human head, the eyes vacantly beaming out light. Be raised up when equipped in the left hand, illuminating more of the surrounding area. The unusual expression somehow imparts a sense of contentment. The languid ease of one who needs not sight. Blindfold of happiness, swinging the head while covering the eyes, wishing a will of lamentation while temporarily making the user of the skill harder to see. Those who seek happiness, blindness is bliss. Interesting. So is this where we fell? Yeah, this is where we fell. And, oh, okay. It's big enough that you literally cannot get around it or across it. There you go. Starlight back. Then we can find our way back to where we were before. Okay. Open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Something like that. Okay. Back here we can use the key. Do want to just check to make sure that that other side was what we saw. Can't imagine it wouldn't be, but it's always nice to be thorough. Yep. That's the big and wide area that broke. Nice. Okay. So we'll open this up. Jill lower level key. And anybody or anything else, or... Maybe the Lamenter is just down here. We'll see. I... Yep. There's our boss. We will... I think the spear would be a good option here. It's great for fights against other... Characters like that, and that's still heavy. Hmm. Maybe if I unequip that. Yep, we can unequip the staff. Let's buff up as much as possible. Blessing's Boon. Golden Vow. Maybe Black Flame. Maybe. Black Flame. Blood Flame. And then we got Grails. Ready whenever. You are Mr. Lamenter. Hello. Hi! can hit you. Stop. Okay. Stop! I- oh my goodness. Alright. Stop! 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 I- oh my goodness. Are the clones gonna start coming now? It's clone time. Oh, are you invisible? Or... No, really, where are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, there the clones are. Okay, and... Can I... Oh my goodness. Can I... Stop! I- Oh, we need something that's quick and slashy then. Okay. This is actually horrible. Maybe. Thank you. I- Oh, I- Oh, now we got the silly hats. Stupid. Stop! Thank you. Mm. Yeah, especially since it doesn't seem like I can really walk onto the non-clones at all. Okay. Golden Vow. Okay, so it's a matter of getting the clones out as quickly as possible then. 
Come on, come on. Oh, please. Because if enough show up, you just instantly die. But they're dying one hit, which is important. Thanks. Can I... Okay. Thank you, old mentor. I should definitely figure out a good way to... Mm -hmm. Buff up. Yeah, those swords are going to be a lot better here. I mean, we can keep going and trying, but this is not the way. Okay. Stab. These projectiles are annoying. Stab. Something else and fast is going to be crucial here. Yeah, they're definitely going to manage the insta-kill. It sucks. It's just a slow weapon. Too slow. And... Mm, oh, now we got too many heads here. It sucks. Stab. Can't knock you out of that. Yeah, it... We're just going to get instead. Weapon's way too slow. Uh, okay. Chop up. Chop. Let's make sure we... Yep, that, this is a good way to take down a bunch at once, but... Come on. Oh, please. I... What? Hit. And... Let's take out as many zoos as we can, and... Yep, yep. We couldn't do it fast enough, and now we're lamenting to... That was annoying. Is there ways to stake America? Okay, good. Good. Let's try that again. Yeah, Spear's not great because staggering him isn't really actually an option. Okay. Blessing. Black Flame. Blood Flame. Does give us opportunities to buff back up, but still. Alright. And cool. Knock you to the side. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Cool. That ain't bad. Just need to take out all your clones. Get our stuff back now. Thank you. You certainly take your time with that. Okay. Thanks. I oh, well. Getting ganked like this is not great. Just gotta make sure we take out as many of you as we can. All the clones are gonna die. Okay, cool. Got another. Cool. Nice. So that's all your clones gone. None of those lamenting. None of that lamenting garbage now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, bleed. Bleed already. Can you even bleed? We'll see. Let's buff back up. Golden Vow. Black Flame. Blood Flame. Oh, that's right. Rails War would actually... I would imagine this is actually a pretty good option. If you can pull it off, because you can just AoE them. Yep. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. So. Slash. Slash. And... Slash. Now you're lamenting and we got one of those stupid heads on us. That's fine. Whatever. Come on. But that insta-kill is, without a doubt, the most annoying thing you do. Okay, cool. Hmm. No, we could just burst down the real one now. Sure. Cool. Yeah. No reason not to do anything else. Okay, that's all. Goodbye, Lamenter. Got your mask. Okay. Transforms wear into a Lamenter and causes head to swell in size. Stone mask twisted into an expression of rapturous grief. Use while disrupt to transform into a Lamenter. The change cannot be undone except by death using this mask while to transform causes the head to swell in size. The attack he did. Its transmission tallies with the state of a denizen paradise. But the people of the tower denied and hid it from the world in their foolishness. They view true bliss with deep fear. Sort of foreshadowing the whole... Curse Blade and your Obeam stuff. So basically, Curse Blades, I guess. Let's go in to get one more level and then check out the top.
pop real quick. There was a bit that I did not explore. Back in here, level up something. Let's honestly go for mine. That's a good option. More FP is always nice. Someone who relies so heavily on spells, skills, etc. This is where came from, more or less. That down there is where we went. So, oh, right, let's put staff back on. Okay. Light over here. Okay. Starlight. See whatever this is. And some of you. This is a spot I did not go to at all. Alright. Slash, slash. Okay. Slash. Okay. Grab some of this, but. Wonder where we might be able to go. That's nothing. Why is it always futility? I don't know. Guess they just hate us. Oh, hi, Jar. Hello. Yo, what? It's buff. Okay. Slash, slash, slash. Okay. Slash, slash, slash. Okay. Slash. Oh my goodness. Slash. There we go. Cool. Interesting. More inner meat. Word of monstrosity. Thank you. Frozen maggot. What else is in here? No horse ahead. Treasure chest ahead? What do they mean by that? Whatever. Oh, so there's something here and that's... Please, I can't stand the sound. I need no salvation. Please stop desist. Your wretched lamentation. So is that the lamenter? Proudly paint lamentation. A blissful lamentation. The sound resounds seeping into the brain. Weeping, 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 ever weeping. Oh, well, that's kind of silly. So we can teleport out here. The jails are actually pretty good about that. So in that case, the only thing really left is going back to Jagged Peak and killing Bale. Nice. Oh. Hello. You're back up. By falling asleep. That's me. I'm not saying a thing. Oh. Oh. My Sad. Well, ancient dragon, presumably. Mm -hmm. Very quiet. Wonder. Well, after we kill Bale, that's when she'll put service to us. Okay. So that means we go back. Mm -hmm. Take on Bale. Okay. Best place to start would probably be from up here. Should find at least another set, one more set of grace. But yeah, Castle Ensis is the next logical place to go. So, let us continue. Back to the peak, Bell's at the top. Soon enough, we will be too. Egon should get over here eventually. We'll ride on over. Hmm. Some stuff up there. But not stuff I could reach. There was that one ledge. But it 
does not strike me as much, if anything. This. That seems to be inaccessible, but somebody's got on top, probably from a glitch or something. So I do not imagine that anything of note is up there. Oh, well. Wait. Can't quick horse that. But what is the point to it? Nothing at all. Fair enough. Behold, I did it. Congratulations. So, let's keep going. Fight a few more dragons. Oh, right, there's also ancient dragon Senesax up here. That would have to be... Does Spark just fall down? Let's see that skull falling down from somewhere. Some kick it? Or was it wind? Or... Or what? Hmm. Coming off this pathway. And... I don't know where Cinesex would be, or even... How much of this is actually navigable terrain? It's a bit like... Dragon's Cower Balloon. It's kind of like an arterial leaf, exceedingly rare to find. Far with an uncanny shape, coursing with hot blood. Seemingly rare to find, a single flower is said to blo blossom only once from the hearts of dead warriors who oft partook of the dragon communion. There we go. Mm -hmm. But, right, if you put her to sleep, you get her summon and her spell. If you don't, she gives you a transformation dragon heart as well as her weapon. Alright. I'm moving. Anything down here? A skull. No enemies yet. That's what's interesting. Once those jagged peak drinks start coming, they'll come at you hard, fast, and strong. Hmm. Sort of up on the side, overlooking Finger Ruins of Raya. Okay, so I guess it's just a path on this cliffside. Makes sense. It's sort of like the ridge scales on the back of a dragon or a dinosaur or a wizard or something like that. So you've got the finger-shaped stones and the ones that are sort of stylized fingers. Big, flat tablets standing high. So we will keep on going. See what else there is to see. Okay, so presumably that spirit spring is the only way ahead. Gotta get up to that bridge. What if there's gonna be any dragon? I feel like I can hear stopping, but even that if that is made by a creature instead of just something like thunder. I would imagine does not necessarily mean it's close by. And it probably is just thunder. Okay. Is there anything down this way? Might be a cower bloom. Oh, well, there are more skeletons for some reason. Okay. One, two. Oh, my goodness. I... You are strong. I... Not sure if there'll be any more around here, but if there are, I should definitely switch to the anti-undead weapon and enchantment. Just because. Oh, and it looks like there's a big one there too. And oh, you're kidding. Die. Two, three. And there's somebody waiting there. Let's put our hammer back on. The dagger back on. Thank you. Sacred Order. And... Sacred Blade. Cool. Simple enough. It's off. I think that should be it. Question is, what's gonna be... The item from here? Is this the heart? No, it's Greater Potentate's Cookbook and that hefty red lightning pot. Item crafting. 
We already got that red lightning pot. This is a hefty red lightning pot. Capacious, heavy lightning damage. Yeah, so sometimes they do give ritual pot type items. Hmm. Crafting pots. Lightning pot. And then there's. That's dexterity. Yeah, this is also dexterity. It's the dragon bolt pot that. Actually, no, none of them have faint scaling. It's interesting. I was wrong. Is there anything else over here, or. Doesn't seem like it, but we got that cookbook. Hmm. Near and far. All manner of things. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's keep on going. And suppose it is then the spirit spring that I need to use, but it might be something up here first. It's a shack. It does not seem like it. You can see down into the abyssal woods. It's fun. Could this be a map? Oh, is in people wondering where the Jagged Peak map is because it's not here, it's in Cerulean Coast. Luckily, we went there before any of this. So we go all the way up high. That's a bit much. One of the longest Spirit Spring jumps I've experienced. Storm ahead. Guys, is this farm Azua? No, it's not. The Beastman skeletons there. And here are definitely an intended similarity. Vision's the snake. Radic is a snake eater. Okay. Boss, boss. <laughs> okay. This one's good. Okay. Go over, yeah, whenever you have a wooden rope, be, rope bridge, the snake eater jokes just start pouring out. We got a few more dragon encounters up here. Let's rest a bit. Foot of the jagged peak. Dragon's Pit Terminus, Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. But, okay, so this is the jagged peak. The area is all Jagged Peak, but the actual Jagged Peak only starts here. Okay. Suit yourself. So. Go up top. The Drakes should be over here. It's a bit like that Guardian Ape fight, honestly. Oh, look, there we go, and they're fighting. Fighting something. Blessings Boon. Golden Vow to be opportunistic about this. Actually, the Ur Tree and Grail should be nice, too. Okay. Big ones over this way. Jagged Peak Drake. But really, what are they fighting? Are they fighting each other? I think they're fighting each other, actually. It's crazy. Or I... Yeah! Okay. Let's go for the weak one. Oh, well, I... Oh, all right. Cool. And get the head. Or not. Oh my goodness. Good chances to die here. Come on. I slash dodge. Oh goodness. Come on. Were they fighting anything other than each other? Or? I okay. Well, dead horse. Okay. Where we horse I got knocked down. Come on. I okay. Please. Slash and dodge, dodge. Dodge. I, okay. Cool. Double dragon. Slash and that's one. That's one down. Okay. You know, maybe I should go a little bit away and rebuff. That's an idea. Let's make sure that gets me stuck. Not fun. 
Hmm. What buffs do I want? Blessings, boom. Golden Vow. Third tree prop. And oh, it's burning that. Luckily, we're on the other side. So let's go over. Take out the drink. Get behind you. Use Grails. Good stuff. Go up a little and. Oh, goodness. I, okay. Great. Thanks. So it. Oh, it destroyed the entirety of the. Stone? Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. Cool, I guess. On slash. Let's close the distance where we can use a fire attack or something. Okay, and. Gap close. Jump slash. We do that again. Maybe. I, okay. Let's slash again. And. That. That did do it. Nice. Let's actually just go for a few more. Hits on that, and I. How am I stuck inside the wing? It's so stupid. That is actually ridiculous. Okay. Come on. Fuel. Let's... Oh, we have the wrong thing? What? Okay. I... Dodge. Okay, well. At least it didn't kill me. Okay. Let's approach. A lot of health. Okay. Let's... Out of the way of that. Thank you. And... Slash. Okay. Dodge. Jump. Slash. And one more should hopefully do it. Okay. One more. I... Okay. Mm. Alright. And... That was not quite it. But this critical should do it. Let's get that critical. And there we are. Goodbye. Double dragon. Thank you. Great enemy foe. Oh, you gone? Where are you? Dragon heart, dragon skill flesh. Who is he? Okay, he's right here. Hello. Conjure your past. How once you were. It's your one leg, Eddie. When fear was yet foreign to you. Yo. Hello. Drink warrior. Dear friend. Grant me this one wish. And that is? That's a bit grotesque. Scale the jagged peak, face veil the dread, and when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. I can do that much. My limbs are no more. Mm -hmm. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But summons. Drake warrior, I remain. And my soul yet lies on the mountain. Comes frilled finger. Proud Drake warrior, I beg of you, scale the jagged peak, face veil the dread, and when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. All right. Proud. Okay. Okay. Summon cool. Me. That's Egon's finger. Summons Drake Warrior Egon from his side. Furled finger of Egon, the broken Drake Warrior. Gnarled and naughty and deeply discolored on the inside. Facing Bale the Dread, the summons Drake Warrior Egon from his side. My soul yet lies on the mountain. Nice. I wonder if there's anything else in this arena which was really just... Place to fight these dragons. But a... Two on one dragon fight, though, to be fair, the fact that one already had a lot of health missing certainly helped. To be fair, maybe I could have tried to knock them down together so they would continue damaging and distracting each other, but one on one at the end was fine. It's a bit more 
showbiz and that. Mm -hmm. So is this just empty? I suppose it would make sense, but... Senesax is skippable. That is true. And all I would get is a couple more ancient dragon smithing stones. It's a real tough boss, too. Probably also want... Just a lightning res. Actually, maybe or maybe still a retreat prompt. Given that... It does have fire breath, too. Even the ancient dragons still have their fire breath. It's just... Lightning's primary. Though Bale's dragons... Bale's drinks... Uniquely among lesser dragons... To also have their fire, which... Might be flame lightning? Not quite sure. So their wiki says that they will flame lightning, but... Who knows? So... We will... Proceed onward. Be gone. If I go back, I wonder if he'll disappear. I know that eventually he drops his armor somewhere. His armor and his bow. Okay, he's still there. Okay. I do wonder... If those dragons were only fighting each other. There's something else there. I think they were only fighting each other then. Or at least that there was something else that whatever it was... Did not and does not respawn. Hello, hello. Welcome back. And oh, is he... Oh, he's dead dead. Okay. He still shows up. You know, maybe he's just sleeping. That's what I'll say. Skill the peak. Back here at the jacket peak. Hopefully there should be another... Grace around and before Senesax. So it is generally considered to be a really annoying fight to the point that you want to use Pest Red Spears, which is just a better version of Pest Reds, but it's locked behind the end, more or less, of the DLC, to my knowledge, too. Alright. So, where to next? Eight red fulgur blooms, well, farmable around here anyway. Hmm. See, tree time for sleep. Behold tree. He's moving. Very excitable tree. So, if I'm moving, hopefully find myself another side of grace. Yes. Necessary item ahead, but be wary of trap. We have trap, therefore, first off, a left. Wait. What does that mean? Cower room. Oh, okay. So it's just a boulder. Okay. And what happens when it goes down? Nothing. Okay. First off, pay attention. Necessary item ahead. Suppose it was just that cower bloom. How many rocks? Guess they just come down. Intermittently. Oh, a shadow tree fragment. That's nice. Hmm. Wonder if there'll be any more on this mountain. Getting a high blessing level would be nice. Oh, so what's over here? This back pathway. Okay, nothing. Guess if you just want to completely avoid the... Oh, but... I guess you can just... Go up that way. Okay. Suit yourself and we're inside this cave now, so we don't see much. Okay. So you can totally bypass the boulder fall. By taking that left route. Okay, cool. Bow required ahead. I don't see anything to snipe. Hmm. 
this where the dragon is? Dragon ahead, yeah, probably. No legs ahead, therefore sadness. Try horseback battle and short let their beat go to lock. Try Scarlet Lot or Frost. Oh, awake. This is where Senis Axe is then. Let's let's try this. Oh hello. Funny. You gonna target me at all? And oh you got your funny chain lining. I guess you could pass towards this. It's an idea, an option. Hi, okay. Thanks. Hi. Okay. Fun. Let's try that again. I, okay. Don't have enough. Lightning is. Oh goodness. This feels like Dragon King Warrior, actually. Okay, and. Okay. Dodge. Oh well. All right. Hmm. Now this guy's nasty. Okay. This is a stake America, but I feel like I should run past and maybe change out some of my spells and the like. I big thing is probably would prefer to have bold drake plus two. It's bold drake plus three. Bold drake plus three is in Shadow Keep, so nowhere near here. Okay. Hmm. That's heavy. It's still heavy. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, it might be another use case for Redonbo. Maybe. I want to use the funny dragon sword, though. Lighting prop would be good, though, here. Alright. Let's try this out. Move on in and take you out. Thank you. Make you a bit weaker. Oh, right. Okay, good. I dodge. Oh, okay. Cool. Fine. Let's heal. Oh, great. Not really. Come on. Okay. Poor back is like gonna. Oh my goodness. Your fire breath is actually evil. Okay. Let's try to see how well this does. It should work somewhat well. Not as well as... Mm. Oh my... Okay. Dodge. To dodge multiple times. It says dodge. Oh my goodness. Okay. Good damage is good. But it's not perfect. There are issues with this. Come on. I... Dodge! Oh, well, I... I thought I could manage that a bit better. That's a speed issue. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I need to just run past it. Find myself... It's not a grace to rest at. Because... He's got hands. Yeah, unlike the other dragons, he actually has hands. Well, my runes are here. And this is not my problem unless. Yeah. Can find our way out, hopefully. Dragon Senis Axe. Aw. What do we. Oh, you just break that! Just break it. Okay. I. Okay. So, in that case, go up this way. Leave you. Cool. I might want to try that, though. I hope that there is a. No more sharp gravel so There's a grace around here. I don't even know if that's the same thing that Lansix gets. Mm -mm. Well, this should be post a bail. Real chance that Senesax ends up being a bigger problem than Bale. Oh, wow. 
This is something. So... Which way do we go next? There is no guidance of grace in the Land of Shadow. That much is plain. Suppose we could look around to try to see where... Oh, well, there we are. Hello. Well, this does. These funky gravel stone slimes. This... is interesting. Hmm. Okay. So I think they drop sharp gravel stones. Maybe. I just wonder, how well would these perfume bottles do against you? It's I've got enough to take Fire Spark all the way to max. I feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Though, of course, the ideal is Fire Knight Greatsword or something like it, and I think that should be the way up top. But, of course... Senesax kind of comes first. Jagged Peak Mountainside. Let's go back. Level up Fire Spark. See how useful it'll be for me. How many? Got a lot of these. Okay. Gonna buy a decent amount of the rest. That's some of the high level ones just going around it seems didn't even really pay attention to that anymore okay 10 10 10 lots of 10s we finally a 9 8 and 9 okay cool hmm yeah so how well would fire spark do We'll see. I think it's interesting, but I don't really need it much. There's no holy perfume bottle. So I guess this is your option, since there's no innate lightning damage and a fusible weapon. That's fine. But of course, eventually we'll want Frenzy Flame, because it's going to just do better damage too. Even though, won't quite be. Even though the madness will not affect most things at all. All right, and that's good stuff. Let's change this out to Fire Spark, which is real nice damage. Just pure fire. Not any real requirements. Holding those two, because you're basically spraying. Okay. Back to the mountainside, see how this does, and then kill Senesex. Which basically just means old stone. Got both of those. Single one. There we are. Oh, nice! That's a fun one. Mm -hmm. That's alright. Could be better, could be worse. But it doesn't cost FP and it's pretty fast. But it has no stagger. That's the thing. Oh, well, something rolling sparks would do. Yep, just totally free. Back up a little. Back. Back. Still want to get touched by your lightning. Real funky place. Be about it. And... Oh, wow. Doing some damage. The good thing is this should help with Stone Coffin Fissure, I imagine. Which I will leave for a while, frankly. Kind of want to postpone Shadow Keep and Breaking Nicholas Ruin as long as I can. But that... I guess it's good as a backup, but of course... Ideal is Fire and I great sword. Okay. Cool. Oh goodness. Thank you. Thank you. And 
thank you. It's about having multiple of those AOEs hit. Last short and oh, Egon's Cookbook 2. That's Dragon Communion Flesh. Uh-huh, okay. Which is basically Exalted Flesh, but Boost Vigor, Strength, Stamina, Dexter. It's a bit like that Dragon Scale Flesh. It's an imitation. An imitation of Dragon Scale Flesh created by human hands. Used to save the hunger of Drake Warriors, if only briefly. Boost Vigor, Stamina, Strength, and Dexterity. The cost of gradual HP loss. Lump of animal flesh with a heat that never cools. Craftable item. It is kind of interesting how there are the ties on the bones, because it's kind of like a beef patty, honestly, in the sense that it's not a single piece of meat at all. Oh no, look! Flame lightning. Awesome. So in that case, how much farther up do we have to go to get to bail? Well, Red Folgerborn. What I wonder is, is there going to be another Sight of Grace outside the arena? Or at least a Stake of America or something. Of course you have a bit of lava foil. Cool. Oh, what's this? This place? Anything here? Or? It doesn't really look like it. Okay. Let's get a bit more light in here. Took that off, okay. Got me going stone staff. Starlight. Thank you. Anything up here? No. Hmm. Offer. Offer up. Okay. Oh, but I see anything over there or Oh, it's a counter boom over there. Okay. How am I gonna get on top of that? Like this, I guess. Okay. Dragon's Cowler Boom. If I go this way. That's funky. Feels as if should be some reward for my poking. Wonder if this is just gonna send me the same place that the Spirit Spring would have. Good chance of it. Our materials. And hello? Oh, is this where the rock comes from? I think this is where the rock comes from. Another cower bloom. Okay, so I guess it was just cower blooms. Okay. So Bale's roaring. Good for him. can't even tell. No, no, the rocks had to come down from here, maybe? Can't exactly tell what I actually was actually over and what I wasn't. Either way, that was interesting. Just trash items. Tranquility, and for precious item, and then let there be dragon. Oh, gorgeous view. Oh, wow, you can see Twisted Shadow Tree. Bit of it's blocked, and then there's Bill your Rat and your Elim over there. Shadow Keep. Castle Ensis. Port of Reprimand. Okay. That's cool. So we'll go up just to see what it's like and then come back, I suppose. Go back to Sensax, that is. And that's up nice and high. First off, just getting started. Oh, wow. So I guess it's just a matter of scaling the peak. So I've scaled the peak, I guess I'll go back until Senesinax. I like doing things in order, but this is okay, too. I'm there with the Cower Boom. Oh, so that... I drop down to get the Cower Boom and then come back. There's a skull over there. Well... All right. Hmm. Some items. This is where Cower Boom was. So if you fall down, you can go back without just dying then. Okay. 
is a lot of flame lightning. As you can see, it burns a bit after. Check what's down here, maybe. And, oh, it's more. More of these fire slimes. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I mean, more of these lightning slimes. Come on. Luckily, again, got a good way to deal with a good amount of fire damage quickly without spending FP. Come on. Come on. Get burns. Doing this from above definitely helps. Gravel stone slimes. Wonder how that works. Mechanically. Red Fulgur Bloom. Can be an item over here or not. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's this one, but if I actually aim directly for it, I don't think I'd hit it. That's the thing. Alright. Toss. Toss my perfume. Thank you. And. Now that went up too high, it seems. Maybe. Yeah, the second one goes up way high. It's this sort of aerial scatter that avoids anything on the ground, which is not good for me. But that actually hit decently well. I would say maybe framing could be better. Maybe. Let's. Actually goes a bit more ahead, maybe? No, it's more or less the same. Okay. Sweep's nice. So what are they guarding? Some kind of legendary item. Is this a an ancient dragon spitting stone? Could be. Dodge. Okay. Vertical. Alright. Toss. Toss. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Dodge out of the way. Yeah, it. It's good that I leveled it. If only just to plow through all these slimes faster. Come on. Burn. 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 Okay. Well, that didn't hit. This would be a good combo. Strong and a light. If I had to. It doesn't make that much of a difference. And just a Sombre Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Not bad, not amazing. It... It's dumb to say that I have more than I need. But I really do have more than I need. Okay. So we have to drop down to get back up. Of course we can just... Use the spirit spring. Thank you. Now the flame lightning's up here. Try not to get hit. And the sharp gravel stones, or... Who knows? Got a couple. Well, one. Try brief respawn. Oh, so it seems like they aren't striking the dragon corpses. Maybe it's because they're already dead. <laughs> but no sense in killing anything that's already dead, so it's just... Is Bale respecting his kin? Because these are plainly... Smaller dragons. Probably, sort of. Those who died in the war between Bale and Placidius Axe. I would guess. Mm -hmm. So. See if there's anything else over here. It. Best place to get those gravel stones is probably one spot behind the altar. Which is nice because it is. Right by a grace, and generally convenient enough to get to. Hmm. Nothing here. Kill Senesex, killed Bell, we have killed four dragons today. That's nice. Climbing up the peak. Get some wide in here. Just a little. Okay. Time for a dragon. Maybe. Precious item ahead. Oh, and it's more slime. This would be very slug. Huh. 
Is this going to be a regular ancient dragon smithing stone? Might be. Oh, right. I could presumably just use jumping attacks. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. Okay. But for literal slimes, they are vile. Okay. I could try Radon's Reign on Cinesax, that is true, but it is, frankly, a lot more fun to use the katana if it can be pulled off. I'll probably go for that, then. Come on. Come on. Come on, going. One more. One more. Thank you, Smithing Stone. This is... you. Okay. Please, please. Come on. Did this hit? It did. Nice. So... Okay, just a regular Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. And it does make sense that there would be a bunch here, because they're... Ancient Dragons here, at least one. Cower Bloom. Just think that it's on the Dragon's Wing. Maybe it was a multi-kill. Okay, lots of Cower Blooms. Huh. But, oh, hello. More of you. Let's keep on burning. Oh, this is a annoying spot. Sad. Got more forward range on light jumping. Light attacks in general. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So. <clears throat> smithing. Toss. Or not. Depends on. Hit. Okay. Thanks. A lack of stance damage is a bit of a bother. Oh, sharp gravel stone. Cool. Hmm. Should do this when I'm falling then. Maybe. It does work decently. Another sharp gravel stone. To take a while to kill and relatively low blessing level is definitely part of it. But I would imagine that part of it is just they are bulky. They are bulky. But once I get Fahrenheit Greatsword, that'll be fun. Oh, and I didn't even notice. I feel like I should look for the other spots to see if I can find a corpse in there. Okay. Jump. And yep, a side of Grace. Right outside Bale's Arena. Great. Cool. We can circle back and fight Senna's axe. And yeah, it's corpses. There's an axe. There's a very broken spear. Let's go back to the mountainside. Take on Senna's axe. Oh. We will memorize lightning fortification. Should be good. Right. Should be everything I could really need. I think I could really use for this one. Okay. So it was back down this way. Cool. If this doesn't work, I'll try Redon's, and if that doesn't work, I'll try Past Threats. But, the ideal is definitely to kill with a katana, because it's just too cool. But it, you really can just run right past him. It's funny. Blessings boom. Golden bow. Golden lightning. Rail. Okay. Cool. Hi. Hi. Okay. Oh. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay. It's not expecting it to go like that. Maybe. 
Okay, so it does send me to the stake of Marika. It's not a matter of really touching or getting close to the stake as it is. Being in the area it governs sort of makes sense. Hmm. There you are. Take the flask. Blessing. Golden bow. Golden lightning. Grail. Okay. How convenient is your timing? Go we'll grab this. Come on. Is it tracking me at all? Or the branching is annoying. Okay. Duh. Okay. Luckily, we have a lot of boosts for lightning resistance. Cool. And dodge. Okay, cool. Alright. Hmm. It's just so tough to do this in the lake. Alright. Okay, good damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. Guess my question is is the branching because it's in the. Alright. Is the lightning branch because it's in the water? This branch in general. It's a bit of calm, a bit of calm being. But damage is great here. And target the head reliable you aim in pretty much any direction and deal good damage. Actually I just hit with the melee slashes. Probably a bit beyond me, but we're doing okay. Okay. Put everything back on. Six spoon. Golden bow. Gold mining, grail. Yeah. But it's a real tough fight. It's not meant to be easy. And it's not. Okay, cool. Thank you. Nice and do okay. Alright. Dodge, dodge. Or okay. Mm -mm. Who behind you is really not a great idea. Dodge, dodge. Can I Oh, because we're in the air. Oh, that's actually great. Okay. I didn't even think about that. Okay. All right. But we're in a good position. Same for the head and dodge. Do dodge. Dodge. Heal. Heal. I oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Damage is great here. Dodge. Okay. Thanks. Jump. Slash, dodge, dodge, okay. One, two, okay. Ooh. Can I hit? I can hit, good, nice. So, hmm. Dodge, oh, okay. See how Fortis axes. Honestly, maybe that's my cue to just dip and rebuff. Okay, but this is definitely a use the great katana fight. They all kind of are. But it's actually not horrible, horrible. It's not easy, but it's not supposed to be. Could be a whole lot worse. Being able to reduce landing damage to negligible amounts is very, very good here. Okay, and immediately grails. It's gonna target us, so we'll get out of the way. Dodge, thanks. Cool. Okay. Cool. And heads over there. Dodge. Dodge. Can I? Thanks. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. It's the counter frames, I imagine. Big part of it. I nice. And I. Uh, Hit. Hmm. Something seems to be a bit weird. I poised through that, which is nice. I. Okay. Never mind. I. Okay. Went for the skill when I shouldn't have. I guess my question is: Is I doing more damage because I was in front or behind? But went for the skill when I should have just ran ran away. 
fact that it will regularly just spray the area beneath it does not help. Okay. Drink, boon. No. Fortification. Grail. Takes more damage. Deals less damage. It's just good for us. Okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. Roar a bit. And dodge. Nice. Good. And dodge. Okay. Thanks. Can I... Cool. I, I feel like we're doing less damage every time for some reason. I don't know why or how that's happening. Come on. Okay. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because I'm not actually aiming for the head? That's weird. Slash. Jump. Okay. Cool. Dodge. Slash. I, okay. Run out of the way. Cool. Cool. Alright. Annoying. Yeah, but you're... It's not broken. It's annoying. Can I... Hmm. Okay. I... Dodge. Dodge. Let's aim for the head. How am I gonna hit the head? Cool. Alright, and... Dodge, dodge. Aim for the head, and... I... Okay, dodge. And... Okay, cool. Alright. We're gonna... Get out of the way and buff back up. Good stuff, as always. Adieu. Golden Vow. Golden Lightning Fortification. Oh, hello, oh you're... Oh, bad news. Okay. Come on. Oh, you can't hit me here. Oh, that's funny. Alright, cool. Thanks. I... Well, that hit you. That hit you. Bad move on your part, honestly. Oh, come on. Let's move out of the way of your fire. So how are we going to take you out, then? Like this. Come on. I oh, counter frames. That's good. Dodge. And hit. Dodge, dodge. We need healing on that stat. Mm. That's decent damage, but... Come on. Dodge. Okay. Okay. Stop us, but... Mm, I... Okay. Come on, I... Dodge. Do okay, well... You did okay, I guess. Come on. Decent. Dodge. Let's... Oh, please. Dodge. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Please. Dodge. Okay. Keep on the head. That did not do the damage I expected or wanted. Dodge. What? Okay, that... Didn't go great. Hmm. Your fighting on level ground is crucial. Okay. We can't get head Jane either. Hmm. It's about actually hitting the head. It's really where things start to get annoying. When the flash buff expires, I become a lot weaker too. It's not good. Lightning grails, and it might have to be the bow. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That was dumb. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. But it, the damage seems to be less lessening somehow. Dodge! Okay, cool. Thank you. And just... Okay. Dodge! Oh, well. Uh, annoying attack. I don't... Okay. Can I... Slash! Good. I... Never mind. Okay. Come on. Okay. Alright. Uh, the fire is just evil. <laughs> it's just evil. Hmm. I'm gonna try with the bow one time. See if it works. 
I might honestly have to go for the katana. Let's craft a few more boon great arrows flinched. Yeah. Okay. Seeing maximum poison storage. Put on the bow again. Thank you, General. And still can't have that on. Okay. Hmm. Aim for the body. Golden bow. Finding fortification. Grails. Okay. This could be good. Hopefully. Come on. Had to go so far out of the way that getting a rune scene back is actually go annoying right now. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Just. I, oh, well, I mess, forgot how that works, actually. Dodge, dodge. Thank you. Shoot and... Okay, do All right. Mm -hmm. That's good damage. I mean, upside is it's from range. Okay. I... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Dodge. Okay. How do you dodge that? Actually crazy. Okay. Dodge, dodge. Can I... Okay, okay, dumb. Stupid. Now that... It's too unreliable. Said, I guess you could use that to sort of stay behind the head. But... Pest threads, pest threads, spears. The big issue is... It's hard to get pest threads off. With its body shape being what it is. There are some serious weaknesses. I'm gonna try the katana one more time. If it doesn't work, I'm trying the threads. This is stupid enough that I would feel no guilt about it whatsoever. This is... No mercy, this stupid, stupid thing. Okay. Golden Lightning, maximize the buff time on the bottle. Thank you. Horse it up. And, thank you. After Grails, this. Cool. Hop off. Get burned up. Okay, cool. Alright. Dodge. Okay, cool. Kinda. Alright. Mm, that didn't hit. That this has to hit, right? Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, okay. Do I not have enough poise for this? I might not. Okay. Come on, you. Okay. What are you gonna do now? You gonna break that? Okay. So, direct hit on the head. I guess you need to basically hit it head on. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Thanks. Cool. Got like that. Dodge. Okay. Slash. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. Let's run. Gotta run. Away from the fire. Okay. So it's something to do with positioning. That's actually very interesting. Okay. Cool. About positioning, but you can actually. Okay. Alright. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Go ahead. We can buff back up now. I. Oh, well, we're actually not in a great position for that. Okay. Cool. Let's... Put some buffs back on. In a minute. In a minute. Come on, come on. Dodge. Well, you know, if you kill the horse, you kill the horse, I guess. Come on. Cool. Let's get to a spawn where I can make myself stronger. Cool. Well. Planning for ends. Never mind. Okay. Well, you're too far away to hit me right now. That's good. We gotta grail it up. Thank you. Hi, hello. Hi, alright. Go ahead. Try to hit me. It won't work all that well. Okay. So now, dodge. Thank you. I oh, come on. Dodge. Okay, good. We actually managed to get out of the way of that. Can I? 
Oh, well, that's stupid. I hate you. I hate you so much. Horse, horse back. Okay. I actually don't hate this flank. Big thing is knowing how to actually hit you correctly. I dodge! Okay. Whatever. Can I? Slash. Good ish. Enough. Okay. Luckily, we can use this as a window of vulnerability. I. Okay. Horseback is key. Okay. Good job. Okay. All right. Thanks. And hit. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Heal, heal. I. Heal, heal, heal. Dodge. Okay. What? Okay. Come on. I. What? Didn't know you had a tail attack. That's. Nasty work. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, horse is dead. Not great. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What? All right. You were close. Okay. I more or less know what I'm doing. Main thing is... Hit him hard and fast in front of him. I wonder if bull goats wouldn't actually be better here. If I could actually poise through some of his attacks, it would really help. Okay. And that, still at medium low, we just have a little less stamina now. If I'm lucky, this might do the trick. Maybe. But... It's a real tough fight. Honestly, Bullgoats is probably better than... Uh, probably better than Favor. For my purposes. Okay, cool. Let's grail it up. Cool. Nice. Let's... Hope. Dodge. Okay, well, alright. Can I... Slash and... Okay. Out of the way. Thank you. Let's try to make sure. Get that going and head. It's basically about being behind. Or ahead. Or the head. Oh, please. Oh. Come on. Dodge and slash. That strange. I don't entirely understand what's going on there. Okay. Dodge. Not. Slash. Uh, okay. What? Okay. Slash. What? This is. It's gotta be a pure positioning thing. Because it makes me go from doing multiple thousands of damage very easily, especially when you hit hit with a slash. To, Pitiful damage. It... I def... No, no, no. Grails isn't doing anything. Bullgoat is not actually meaningfully helping. There are some attacks that you just can't poise through. Honestly, maybe Great Shield. Let's see if that makes any difference. But... It's tough. So bulky. So bulky, so relentless. There isn't much of a way to poise through it, stay away from it. It, it just messes with you. It's something. Dodge! Okay, cool. So, for the head ends, there we go, good damage. Thanks! I- uh, uh, never mind. Okay, I- Oh, what- what's that item over there? I know there was an item over there. It's funny, actually. Come on, come on. Okay. Go back and... Slash! Good damage! Okay. Dodge. Back and- Oh, well, it- Timed that wrong badly. Okay. Cool. And... Dodge. Cool. Slash! Good. Well, kinda. It's... Yeah, it's just all about positioning. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
it, especially the cameras. What is up with the camera here? The camera's the real boss. Okay. But it, uh, stay good and far away. Okay, thanks. Now I deal more damage you're just hitting. Just sitting with a projectile because of the way the position works is easy. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Or not. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That works kind of well. This is a chance to buff up my other stuff. Okay, cool. Let's put our buffs back on and see how well we do. Now, getting close is actually not a good idea at all, then. The farther away I stay, the better. Because of the way that all this works. Okay, lightning fort. And that's protecting me. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Sad. Grail. Thank you. Thanks, Grail. And... There we are. Nope. You're out of range. That sucked. Okay. There we are. Okay. Dodge and... Okay. Dodge. Okay. So running away seems to work better. Where are you even? Oh, come on. We need to get out of the way of you. Come on. Okay. There you are. Okay. Good range. Good damage. Okay. Dodge. Okay. Slash. And dodge. Or not. Slash. And dodge. Yo. Okay. And. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get that back. Okay. And. Oh well. Dumb me. I was really stupid. Okay. Come on. Let's go for the head. And. Oh my goodness, okay, I... Uh, okay, well, horses... Oh my goodness, okay. One, two... One, I... Uh, never mind. Dodge! Okay. Can I? Hmm. Please... Jump! Okay. Let's see how well we can hit like this. I... Only a couple more should be necessary. Dodge. Okay. Uh, okay, come on. Slash. I. Oh my goodness. This is stupid. I hate this. <laughs> Such a dumb fight. And it, the camera's the issue. If you. get too far away. Well, it screws up and it stops actually walking onto the head and. It's very plain that whether you manage to deal the bonus damage or not to the head is somehow related to your positioning. Not the hitbox you actually hit, but your position relative to the dragon. Which is strange. Okay. Dodge! Okay, well, alright. Can I hit? And that did not hit anything. Okay. Alright. Use those mounting frames, actually, for a bit of invincibility. Nice. And dodge. Dodge. Cool. Hit and... That didn't hit anything. Okay. Cool. Let's... Hit. That... Hmm. What is my issue here? I... Huh? Okay. Dodge. Okay. Okay. Alright. I don't know what's going on here. Dodge. Heal. Heal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge. I, okay. Slash. And... Something is weird with this. I don't know what it is. Slash. That was good. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Heal. 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 This could be a good opportunity to stay out of the way or we still land a few hits. This, no, we need to buff back up. Okay. 
Well, Winding forward. Okay. Grail. Okay. Oh, not even hit. Good. Nice. Okay. Can I? Oh, goodness. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, nice. Can I? Hmm, good. I like that. I. Ooh, okay. Even though that hit me. Got good damage off of that. Okay, cool. Let's run away from the fire sweep. Okay, cool. Fun. And. Cut. That did work pretty well. Oh, come on. Bro. Nice ish. I feel like Nameless King in that regard, actually. Uh, okay. Can I. Mm -mm. Dodge! Alright. Mm -mm. How do I. Uh, what? We weren't even really behind you. Come on. Let's dodge. Okay. Slash. Good stuff. I. Dodge. I. Dodge. Oh, okay. Sunlock is nasty work. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. No. Oh, really? Okay. Come on. You took dodge. I. Alright. Alright. We need to go and get my stuff back. Okay. Have enough for a couple more buffs. Okay. So let's buff up. Golden Vow. Planning for it. Could try Grail. Not worth it. Just have to cut you down. Okay. Oh, please. Come on, come on. And one more to do it. One more will definitely do it. Dodge. Dodge. Or one more, one more. Goodbye. It's finally over. No more ancient dragon status acts. I love this katana. And it's just an ancient dragon smithing stone, a summer ancient dragon smithing stone. And the joy of having this thing just gone forever, period. It's funny how many broken runes just end up strewn around the arena. So let's go and see. Is Bale going to be harder or easier? Probably easier. Not as much stupidity in the fight. So, this he's got fire and lightning. Let's put on... Pearl Drake plus two. Should be good. Still heavy. So, we can go take on Egon. We'll take on Bale with the help of Egon. But in that case, Urchi probably would be good. Especially since it would also apply to... All of our buffs also apply to him. We might actually want to wait until we enter the arena to buff them. So that he can get the benefits. That'd be fun. Let's do this. Said... Flask might not be that way. Like a Colosseum almost. Lots of skulls. So do I equip the finger from here? Listen finger, recuse him. Egon's finger. Well, we need to find a sign. It was just a key item. So where is the sign? Egon's sign. By the way, this is where Bale is. Oh, oh my goodness! It's one heck of a dynamic entry. Also, I realized I should probably buff up. You're actually right here. Oh my goodness. Oops. <clears throat> Can you only summon him after you've spawned the boss? Well, either way, this fight will start as soon as we go in now. Hmm. Strength or dex? More damage would be good. Okay, cool. You're gone. Let's 
Buff us all up. Golden Vine. Cool. Oh, oops. Oops. Cool. And. Well. Alright. I'd like to actually hear that. So buffing up the both of us is a great idea. I definitely want to do that. It said, probably be a good idea to quit out so I can actually use those runes from Senna because I forgot. It's a shame he only does that dynamic entry once. Oh well. That's cool. Shows up and boom. Mr. Vile. Dragons. Come on. Come on. Let us make this happen. Right outside, you can even see Bale right in there. Oh, so. We're a little bit closer, and that determines where we can use. Whistle or not. Level up. X20. We'll go for Dax then. Okay. Cool. Good weapon. 884. So, let's go fight this guy. Blessing. You're gone. Heal both of us. Two up and. Ooh! Oops! Not great. Cool. Got a couple of us. That's nice. I... Okay. Let's prot. Nice. Did that gotcha? Hope that gotcha. So that's the two of us. Let's grail it up. Ooh, that missed me. Nice. Okay. Dodge. Okay. Simple enough attack to dodge. I. Oh, oh, grab attack. We're basically here to help Egon, I guess. It's his fight. As one does. Can you even... Can you horse in this fight? Well, you can't with a summon, at least. Oh, come on. That's an attack. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's a good option. Oh, what? Okay. I know he's got crit. Okay. Bite is interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can. Nice roar. What are you doing? Can I. Oh, alright. Flame lightning's kind of sussy. And. Mm -hmm. Okay. That said, it, it's not as bad when you've got someone to help you. Let's hope we can. Oh, goodness. Dodge! Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit me. No. Okay. Oh, alright. Luckily, most of them are hitting the arena. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Well, we didn't die. Come on. This is kind of a crazy fight. It's definitely a crazy fight. So, how is Egon doing? Is he gonna die? It's dodge. Okay. Break a ton is a good option. Oh, critical. Nice. Might be a good opportunity to buff back up then. Maybe. Who knows? Blessing Boon. I. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, well, that still hit me. Never mind. I, and then you do that. Okay. Cool. Golden Vow. It, he's got good damage. That is true. I Oh, okay. Bonky. Another pyroclastic. And guess who no longer has any... Without that. Not great. Come on. Dodge. Okay. But, uh, if we're close enough and we have a healing we need, we can stay away. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, uh, it's my answer. I should switch to health blast.
What I should really do is just actually buff up before the arena. As nice as the idea of giving Egon some of the buffs is, it's not worth it. Plus, okay, that 10 of 4 is not much different anyway, but it's good. I might try something like Shard of Alexander, honestly. Full defense is good, though. For now. Seems bone. Golden Bow. Connection of the Urge Ring. Grail's Roar. Okay. So we'll just bring you in. Mr. Egon. Thanks. I nice. Dodged through that pretty well. And. Okay. Cool. I. Alright. Thanks, and... Thanks. Dodge! Uh, okay. Chug, chug, chug. Dodge, and dodge. Thanks. Slash, and... Mm, that didn't make much of a difference. Uh, oh, okay. Main thing is, you're actually decently possible to stance break, so... Let's let that happen, ideally. Come on. And... That hit, good. Oh, what? That's tough to dodge. Okay. Come on. It's actually. Dodge, dodge, and. Dodge! Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, okay. Great! Alright. Hmm. This is. One heck of a fight. Okay. Slash! I dodge, dodge. Okay. Suit yourself. Dodge. Dodge. And dodge. Okay. And... Dodge. Dodge. Slash. Maybe up. Dodge. Okay. Slash is good. Okay. Okay. I can't even see. Annoying. Okay. Let's get this back up. Oh, there's stuff in the arena. I didn't even notice. Who is Egon gonna stay here? Oh, it's just a skull broken with him. That's funny. Okay, and oh well. Alright, base two. Alright. Fun. Fun attack. Okay. Roll, roll. Let's keep on rolling, rolling. Where is he coming from? Okay. There you are. Okay. Can't even see what you're up to. Dodge. Okay. It's basically helpless city sex is it two at this point. Okay. Gonna roar a bit. Oh, dodge. 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 Come on. Hit. And oh baby. Dodge. Ah, again? Really? Okay. That? It's hard to react to. You should know the tell better. Dodge. And dodge. Okay. Cool. I, all right. Dodge. 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 Thanks. I, okay. Thanks. Slash. Dodge. Okay. Do oh, all right. What attack is that? That's... Dodge. Okay. Now they're pyroclastic. Oh, baby. It's just... How am I supposed to dodge that? Maybe right, then left? It's kind of Calamy. Though, to be fair, I imagine that part of the issue is that he's targeting Egon at times instead of me. Which, for big AoEs, makes him harder to dodge. Hmm. All right. Maybe I'll just go for a bow attack, too. Maybe. Mm -mm. Her tree prop. Grails. Sort of hit the head from the side, kind of. It's an idea. Do you bail? Oh, okay. 
Okay. Thanks. And I... Oops! Well, those runes are all gone. Huh. Well, that means I don't have to worry about getting runes anymore. But it... <laughs> you gone! It's just distraction, really. It's really just what he does. Given that... It doesn't look like he even has a health bar. Can he even die in this fight? I don't know. Okay. Well, summon you. Try the flask and... Well, okay. Cool. I... Don't... What? Alright. Drake Warrior Egon. Ah, so now... Someone gets seen and it's him. Okay. So we can... Use this to... Wait, did that just not hit at all? That's what it seems like. It's weird. Okay. Whatever. Oh, alright. One more slash. Who are you aiming at? Not... N no, it didn't matter who you were aiming at, I guess. Uh... Come on. Ah, what? I need to learn that tell. Come on. Uh, okay. Range on that is not... Awesome, I guess. Yeah, but so much ammo. It. I don't imagine that this is necessarily the best weapon I have here, but maybe the issue is just that I shouldn't be going for that. And really, okay, kill me. really really stupid so I guess what I could do is just try to hit its body with a slash and then hit his body with a slash that could work mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Drink. Summon and... Okay. Dodge. That was decent. Dodge. Cool. Roar. Get that debuff in. Uh, okay. Dodge. Okay, alright. Dodge. And can I... Thanks. Mm. Come on. Okay. Charge on all that is definitely not something I really want to deal with. Honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Sure, don't get hit. And slash, or not really. Dot. Dodge. Which one of you have you been going for? That's my question. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's actually rather poor to get in there. Dodge. Dodge. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. That hit you. That's nice, I guess. Keep on running. And slash. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. And I... What are you going to do now? I... Just... Okay. Oh, we actually dodged that. That's... A Real good opening too. And slash can't stun you out of that. That makes sense. Okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. Until we come back. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's bless ourselves. Actually, okay. Dodge. Okay, alright. Oh, the line of that is evil. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Hmm. Did she cry? Very well. And... I don't quite like that. 
You're a bit vulnerable, right? No. Okay. Power shot debuff is good for me. Okay. Whatever. Yo. Yo. And. Okay. Dodge. 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 Okay, well. God knows how you're supposed to dodge that. Maybe I'll. Okay. Hmm. Really, really, more of it, more of it. Okay, cool, cool. And oh, nice. All right. Slash. One more. Let's see if we can knock you down at all, ever. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, and. Oh, okay. Can I? Slash, I... No. No. And... Dodge. Ah, oh, really? That's a evil. Well, it... I guess I could buff my up a bit more at the time I have. He's almost dead, and this should ensure a kill, hopefully. Depending on the attack you're doing, which is... Nasty. Okay. Oh, but... If we're really lucky, we can use the arena. Use the arena walls. Let's cling to the wall, and that was nice. Dodge! Okay, well, alright. Oh, we lived. That was nice. Much more we got. No more of that. Okay. Cool, cool. I. Alright. So, if. Uh, a few more great katana hits will hopefully do it. I. Dodge! Okay. Ooh! -hoo. Gotcha! And. Wait, what? Never mind. Come on! Oh, oh! Peek. Dodge the bike grab and cut him in half. Get struck by lightning, why don't you? You shall haunt me no longer. And that's Bill. Thank you for your going. Hmm. And you can't horse yourself in here. That's kind of sad. Big thing is, Egon's corpse will have his stuff on it. Drag communion priestess should be chilling. And it's still shrouded by the storm. Very, very nice. Resting at the rest of the dead dragon. Dread, dread dragon. Right. Strength. Let's go for a bit of faith, I guess. Sure. For more levels, and blessing the ritual will always be available. Heart of Baal. Gain power of Baal, the grand altar of dragon communion. The biatrial heart of Baal the dread. Dotted with horn like gravel stones and glistening with deep red liquor. Gorge upon this at the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion to absorb Bale's power. The purest form of communion in the words of its priestess. Hmm. My Atrial. So. Egon should be over here. Priestess should be over here. She will pledge ourselves to us. We did it! Vengeance. Sidious Axe. Happy to help. Nice. Dragon Bolt of Forest Axe. Uh, yep. Confess to putting her to sleep. Yep, exactly. A human besting a dragon. For the quest. But I killed Bale, so... Be a bit nice to yourself, honestly. Well... Goodness.
And that means... Spirit Ashes. Oh. And what is that? Yeah. Blame the wiki. Forwarding versus harassment. Real human transformation into dragons. Interesting. Take her. And turns into spirit ashes. Ancient dragon forest axe. Flower stone and dragon bolt of forest axe. So another confirmation of her name. Red lightning to bolster self and nearby allies. Special incantation of the ancient dragon forest axe. Calls down red lightning to bolster the caster and nearby allies. While enrobed with red lightning, all forms of damnation, including physical, are increased. This also increases damage negation while guarding is an additional effect. There was a time when the priestess never knew of and thus never used this incantation herself. Interesting, Im interesting implication. As it remains in which spirits it dwell, used to summon the spirit of ancient dragon Forest X. Forest X assumed this spirit form to offer her service to a new lord. Uses her own dragon bolts to increase all damage negation, including physical, for herself and nearby allies. Strikes foes with the flower stone gavels. Dragon bolt, the weapon we would otherwise get if we hadn't done the sleep potion, to reduce enemy lightning damage negation. Long ago, Forest X assumed dragon form to share dragon communion with the world. Now she has acquired a human heart. Nice. So. Went through Charos, went through Dragon. Right, we gotta go find Egon. Collect his... Possessions. So, the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana has served its purpose. I'm just unpleasantly surprised that we never managed to actually get... A critical on Bale in that fight. It is what it is, so... The only thing to do now is really just go through Castle Ensis and then Shadow Altus. Because otherwise I would be skipping straight to Shadow Altus and maybe messing stuff up by going to Shadow by going to your Shadow Keep early. We'll see. Well that was nice in here. His stuff is Oh. Uh -oh. Scrabo and his set and his bell bearing. Egon's Bell Bearing, Bell Bearing and Egon Drake Warrior, access to Egon's Harpoon as special arrows. Limp cloth of the broken Drake Warrior Egon, stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of the battle, a scrap of cloth smells utterly foul. No more than a mishmash of tatters and remnants, stripped from a corpse found in the aftermath of the battle. Armor of the broken Drake Warrior Egon from a set comprised of miscellany of parts. Filthy belongings are attached to standard piece of protective wear. The poor scavenger of battlefields found honor through Dragon Communion. Shaped like a bugle. Weapon of Egon, the Broken Drake Warrior. A great bow fashioned from two dragon boats bound with coarse rope, covered in gashes left by claws, and with Egon's obsession, enhancing the power of Egon's harpoon. Egon's Drake Hunt, skill of Egon Drake Warrior, ready the bow before unleashing a twisted shot with a great bow, considerably enhances its power. So it's a good option for shooting dragons down, but not, pro not something we really need to do anymore. Interesting. Let's aim for that head. Hmm. Boy, the harpoons also have bonus damage versus dragons, too. But not really my problem right now. <clears throat> Bound with coarse rope. Alright. So, in that case... You can also put it on other bows. You can put it on the great bow, presumably. So regular Grey Bow has the highest pure AR. Have a, the Egon Bow in one hand and other Grey Bow in the other, and that would take all the weight, but it would probably get the most damage from that. So I guess sit back with Tilly, eh? It's. That's all done. Now that we've beaten sort of the extra boss, I guess we can progress the actual story. Okay, so he says nothing about that. So here we are, a true Drake warrior. Thank you, and Santa Ragan.